free. A very, very good morning to all of you beautiful souls out there. Quickly give me a nice sound check. Can you hear me and see me? Yes, okay. So most of you can hear and see me in case my voice is not audible, in case I am not visible, please drop the call and join again. All right. So let me have a quick look at what is the composition of today's class. Okay. So I'll share it with you as well. So we get to know each other. 33% of your beginners, which means you haven't drawn in a long time. 28% are like, okay, okay, sometimes I draw. And 39%, so we have almost equal batch of all of this. Do not worry, this workshop is for beginners who think they cannot draw, intermediates who think I can draw a little, and for advanced people who are like, I love drawing. I, uh, we have an almost equal, equal gender ratio. Most of you are 30, 40, and you've heard from our Facebook. Super. So now that the sound check is done, now that everything is done, let's warm up a little. So just stretch your hands out. Do some wrist rotation. We haven't drawn in a very long time, right? Sagar, if I'm not audible, it's your system's issue. So you will have to turn on from there, okay? So give yourself a nice wrist movement. Rotate your calves. Stretch your hands a little bit. We're going to draw after a very, very long time. So... If you're not audible, it's there, okay? So one thing that, so there are two things you will need in this class today, okay? One is you will need a glass of water, okay? So I hope all of you have a glass of water ready with you. Okay, show me, turn on your cameras. And yes, the second part of this is you have to turn on your cameras. Because one, it will help you increase your attention. And second, we can see that whether you are able to understand, whether you are able to get it. So quickly take a minute, turn on your cameras and show me that you have a glass of water. Okay. For this workshop, you will absolutely need nothing but pencil, any pencil, HB pencil, anything you have lying around the house. And you will also need any pen. From a 10 rupees pen to a 5 rupees pen, absolutely any pen. If you have a fine liner, it's better. But even if you don't have any 2 rupees, 5 rupees pen would do. Okay? That's it. You don't need anything special for this. And like I said, a glass of water. Okay? So... By the way, I am not going to be your instructor today. Your instructor is Niranjan, but I am the CEO and co-founder of Soulflow Arts. The company, the art school, which you are all a part of today. And I'm here to welcome you to this wonderful masterclass. Okay, so let's go. So this is, I am Sanchari and your instructor today will be Niranjan. So we are people who really believe in the power of art, who believe in a holistic wellness life. We believe in, uh, you know, things like small practices like this, hydrate yourself. We are from Kerala, Kochi. How many, are, where are you guys from? Quickly tell me in the chat box, where are you guys from? 
it is my dream one day that all of us are you know uh, uh, all parts of india we are in the same workshop so where are you guys from kompot or jabalpur chennai kochi we are also from kochi mumbai bangalore super so that is a little bit about me and niranjan by the way this art is called sketch noting we'll talk about this later so our story started from just like in a similar class like you are taking today we met and from there started our story of how we would do it i was going through something very bad i was going through a traumatic incident after covid and i had lost my memory that is when i met niranjan in one of these art classes and when we started drawing i realized that art can empower and heal so much and i decided to join him in this journey so you know i had completely gone to a point of no bottom and by the way let me tell you i am an okay okay artist i am an artist by passion but i was never able to draw very well until i started this so same about niranjan who is going to be our teacher today he's a self taught artist and uh, you know who dropped out of college and he decided that he wants to pursue something better he wanted to pursue and excel and teach people to become artists no matter what work of life they came into so this was a little bit about our journey we got married in november and yes by the end of this class you too will be able to draw a human figure like this so now that you know about me i want to know a little bit about yourself so what you have to do is a simple warm up we did a warm up for hands now we'll do a simple warm up with your mind i want you to drop your name but in a special way for example if your name is whatever your name is the same letter of that name you have to give yourself an adjective for example i am sanchari so i will introduce i will write my name is i am superb sanchari or i am stylish sanchari so supposedly there is a tia there tia will say i am probably talkative tia okay so your name and the first letter of your name should be an adjective also i am ravishing renu i am you know uh simply sanjay robust rishi yes powerful prateek terrific toshiba yes samurai sumit is so cool rowdy ramnath yes quickly drop in your name let us know it is ultimate uma pati love it ambling ananya yes so vijeta you have to use the same letters so it should be by v by vishesh vijeta beautiful because art is also about having fun so we have to have a lot of fun in this workshop so we are the co-founders me and niranjan are the co-founders of soul flow zen gym and today's workshop is a part of this zen gym because we always believe that art is what can empower all of us and we believe that we are going to heal people one art at a time so what is a zen gym it's like a gym but for your brain muscles so just like when you go exercise when you go run you are making your physical body muscles stronger but when you art when you journal when you read you are making your brain muscles stronger uh zen gym is a is a one stop solution for all the needs that we have in our life maybe you know art yoga book reading time management all the goodness all the wellness that you want in your life we are here to unlock it so there are four pillars of our organization the first of course you are going to get introduced today it is art second is meditation third journaling and the fourth is the growth mindset growth mindset basically means to believe in yourself to believe that you are capable of change all the things that you wrote today with your name out there ravishing vivacious we are out there to teach you how to get better okay superb so quickly turn on your cameras if you have already not done it turn on your cameras and once you turn on your cameras i will share with you what are we going to draw today but you have to turn on your cameras first now first of all tell me how many of you think that i don't think i can draw i joined the workshop and all but i am not a very good artist i don't think i can draw tell me honestly right i in the chat if you think i won't be able to i mean 
ठीक है आई एम लाइक इट्स ओ इट्स अ सस्ता वर्कशॉप सो आई डोंट माइंड स्पेंडिंग द मनी बट आर्ट इज नॉट माय कप ऑफ टी सो बिफोर आई शेयर विद यू व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ लेट मी शेयर विद यू माय पर्सनल थिंग एंड आई एम लाइक एन ऑडिटर हियर हु सिट्स टू सी वेदर आई कैन ड्रॉ माय ड्राइंग लेवल यूज्ड टू बी समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके आई एम एन योगा एंथुसियास्ट एंड यू विल सी लेटर सो माय ड्राइंग स्किल वाज समथिंग लाइक दिस आई मैनेज्ड यू नो स्टिक स्टिक फिगर्स एंड ऑल दिस आई मैनेज्ड then niranjan introduced to me an abcd method which you will also learn today a very cool never taught before method and my drawing became like this in 3 days so then i started exploring this entire journey of doing it and that's how i realized that what he has he needs to share with everyone as well so don't worry the journey from stick figures journey from whatever you draw right now can be crossed okay so i'm all excited to show you what we are going to draw drop an x in the chat if you are excited to start drawing energy is everything it's morning it's you know you should be having this energy yes i can do this let's do this super and a very big thank you to all of you who have joined me on this sunday morning i hope you had a breakfast because it's going to be a hectic class so to be out of energy so there you go i am launching a poll with left and right left side is a realistic woman with doing yoga not the very slim very uh, you know uh, what do you say people in yoga pants who give you complex are i don't look like this i so a realistic like woman or of course you know prabha we thought first we will put adi purush uh, in it but then the movie has tagged so no we have to do adi purush so instead of this you have a yoga woman or you have a strong man which one do you want to draw by the way drawing art the level of both of them is same okay don't think ki are yaar ye to easier hai i will draw this are this is tougher i will draw this both of them are absolutely same very 50 50 percent is going on okay so only about 186 people have voted please vote guys so that majority wins a uh, please poll on the please put on the poll the chat box won't do it please put it on the poll no 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 we will teach you how to draw if you know how to draw already then why would you join this workshop just choose one bhumi siddharth please vote on the poll there is a poll launched in the class okay the poll will be available on your screen i know because two 30 people have already voted so it must be visible to all all right i think now we already have a winning entry we already have one winning entry so okay thank you for participating let's see which one has won is it the girl the yoga or is it prabhas let's share the results so ha prabhas has won and we will be drawing bahubali today niranjan i know will be very happy because we are of course big fans of bahubali and drawing this will be fun if you haven't seen the movie bahubali yet after this workshop you should go and see it we have a drawing as well okay no you don't need a paint brush all you need is a pencil any pen like any 10 rupees pen a gel pen is preferable but even if you have a ball pen that's fine a pencil an eraser and the we are ready to go okay so one last time just close your eyes take a deep breath and say to yourself i am here to learn art i'm going to make the most of it i am here to make art i am going to make the most of it i am a beautiful artist i am going to draw something beautiful 
Okay, I'm going to make the best of this class. I'm an artist and I'm going to make a beautiful drawing. Okay, so that's it. We just needed this framing of our mind. And now let me bring on to you your instructor who will be taking you through this entire journey. I'll be there. I'm also drawing next to you because of course I don't want to miss a chance of drawing Bahubali. So very round welcome for Niranjan. Hello, everyone. A very, very, very good morning. First of all, thank you, Sanchari. Thank you so much for the wonderful introduction. Thank you so much for holding everyone up, up here. And it's so good to see you all. So many lovely faces. And I cannot wait to see what, what beauty we are going to create today. So for the very first thing is that you need, we've already spoken about the materials, but I'll just brief you about it. You need a very basic set of materials. That is number one, sketchbook. So a lot of people ask me what size sketchbook it is. You can use an A5 size that's preferred because it's just convenient. But if you have a bigger size, A3, A4, feel free to use it. Use what you're comfortable with. It's your book, right? It's your sketch. It's your book. Use what you're comfortable with. Preferably something which won't get too overwhelming. Secondly, you can use any pencil, any grade of pencil, matching teeth. We are always in matching teeth. Always in matching teeth. So any pencil will do and pens as well. I'll take you through briefly through the material, but then, you know, you don't need anything special, just a pen with a good flowing ink, a fountain pen, gel pen, mm -hmm. anything of that sort. I mean, all of you have these materials with you. Yes. Nobody's going to tell me, sir, I don't have the materials you said. Nobody's going to tell me that. More than anything, you need to follow instructions. Just go through it one step after another. Don't rush. Yeah, I'm going to make the head right now. I'm going to do it. Just yes. do it. And that's it. You are in good hands. And attentive mind is the most important thing. It is not so much about the materials or the or this. It is about how attentive you are. Paintbrush. No, no, no. You don't need any paintbrush. I made it easy for you, no. You don't need any paintbrush. You don't need anything, anything that is difficult. So we'll be starting in just a few minutes. I'm super excited that we'll be drawing Bahubali to begin with. The very first thing is I want you all to set your view in speaker mode. So many of you in the site settings, top right setting, you will be able to adjust your view mode to gallery or speaker. I want you to set it to speaker mode because only then you will be able to see because right now as I'm about to spotlight my sketchbook I want to ensure that all of you are able to see it so that's in a minute I'm trying to find my sketchbook in here Okay, so you should not be able to see a blank screen right now. A blank screen with the entire sketchbook. This should be clear and visible to you. Yes, I want to ensure that if I'm audible. So give me a yes in the chat box if I'm uh, audible. Okay. All right, so you can hear me clearly. Okay, so yeah, you can click on the view panel. Just help someone out on uh, if you're not able to win, just help them out on how to set in speaking mode. It's very easy, just on the top right, you'll be able to adjust the view panel and you should be able to see this entirely. Now, the this is the drawing. So, as far as the reference is concerned, I will be keeping the small reference by the side so you can always have a look at what we are drawing and you don't follow me blind. I would always say, look at the reference as I'm telling and try to just listen and then follow my instructions. Don't be so dependent on every line, every angle that I draw. I think that will be more of a hindrance than something that can help you. This reference will be there. And also at the same time, I am dropping the reference image for you in the group. So in case you want to look at something much more uh, in detail, then that will also work. Both the references. 
drop both the reference images to this to to, to the group so we can always have a look at what we do. Now the very first thing I want to show is that I want you to first listen. I don't want you to start jumping and drawing. I just want you to listen to me. I I simply want you to listen to what I have to tell. You, okay. So yes, reference image is shared in the WhatsApp group, and you can always keep a, a watch on what I'm uh, teach what I'm telling. I shaped it to the urban sketching and urban sketching so you should be able to see the reference image right now. Are you able to see this? You should be able to see the reference image here right now on the screen as I'm showing this. Okay. So please view in speaker mode once again. If you're not able to see it, probably because you know you are viewing it in gallery mode. You should be able to view in speaker mode. Now, for a human body, basically there are three parts. Okay. Pay very close attention. You don't have to draw anything, just pay attention for a human body. There are basically three parts. Can anyone tell me what it is in the chat box? Three parts. Head, upper body, lower body. You get that? Try to simplify. Upper body, lower body. Now you will ask. But what about the hands? Well, hands are part of your upper body. So in, in short, there are three parts to your body. And I'm just going to highlight it here. You have your head. I'm, I'm excluding the crown portion out of it. We have your we have your head, we have your upper body, which reaches almost up till the region where you are the belt. You know, till your navel, till your navel section, that's where. And the remaining, of course, is the lower body. Now, the most important thing that you need to understand when you're drawing a person, when you're drawing a figure, is the relationship between these three bodies. Upper, middle, and the lower. The relationship between these three parts. Okay, this is what proportions are all about. You would have often heard the term proportions, ratio, and all of this being thrown around. Proportion simply means this. Proportion simply means the relative size between different parts of one thing. Proportion of the human body means the relative size between my head and body, between my body and legs, between my arms and legs. This is what proportion means. Comment in S in the chat box if you understand what proportion means. Because I'll from here on, I'll be using the word make proportion, make it proportion, make it proportionate. And you have to understand what it is. Yes, we are good on this. Super. So this is what proportion means. Now the basic proportionate idea. And, and here also I want you to pay very, very close attention. So I don't want to pay close attention for everything. But this is supremely important. So come closer to the screen. Come, come. I want to see you all your face. Come closer to the screen. Nobody's going away. Nobody's walking out. The relationship between the three parts is that, and this is going to blow you away. Okay. Let's say uh, the head of a person. It can be a male. It can be a. It can be a girl, boy. It can be a teenager. It can be someone who's fat and anything. Okay. By a person, I mean any person. This person's head size, head is going to have a particular height. Let's name that X. Let's name this X. I want you all to take a scale and just measure how much your head is going to be. The head is going to be like this. Your head is going to be from your, so from your head temple region till your chin. Not from your forehead, from your temple till your chin. That is how much your head is going to be. So for a lot of you, it's going to be anywhere around 19 to 24. Okay. Comment in the chat box, what is the diet measurement? From the temple, the crown of your head, top of your skull, till your chin, till your chin bone. What is this? 18. So it's uh, it's 18. Okay, it's 18 for Tia. What about others? K. Arjun, it's 18. I think many of you, I, I don't want you to cut it short. I want you to make uh, measure it from the top. Ajay is only 8. My God. So 2. 8 will be very small. It cannot be. Might be two, two. <laughs> Be eight, okay. So this, this right, 19, 20, 25, you can see the answers coming in. So this proportion, which is lost to tell this and rotate it again. Okay. 
So as I was saying, let's begin this upper portion S. So many of you answered, you gave your answer 19, 22, 23, whatever you answered. Your upper body, and this includes your neck, your upper body, from below your chin, whatever is of your body, till your belly button, till your hip bone, belly button, that region. That is going to be 2x or 2 times this measurement. This is very good. Now here, for the lower body. See that? The lower body is going to be twice of that of the upper body. Or four times that of the head and it's going to be 4x. We'll add the feet. The feet also comes as an extra. We'll add the feet at point. We'll give it a little more length for the feet. So making it a total of seven and a half x. Your total human body measurement with respect to the face is seven and a half times your head measurement. How many of you understood this? Say I in the chat box. But no, I don't want you to believe. You have a lot of doubts, you have a lot of questions. You'll have like, oh, how did they, how did he even come to this? We'll answer, we'll answer that. But for now, how many of you have understood what I, what I just explained right now? Yes? Let's do a small experiment because I don't want anyone of you to just think and believe what I'm telling. This is not about belief. This is about understanding. Right. Any of you, how many of you know the difference between belief and understanding? Belief means just accepting. You're not finding out the truth. Understanding, you are understanding. Let's understand that now. So I want you all to just for this, for this purpose, I will have, want all of you to get up from your seat. I will want all of you to get up from your seat. I will want you to stand up. And I hope you can hear me carefully because you have to do, you have to play this little game with me. Okay. So stand up all of you, get up from your seat and let's just do this here. I want you to first, okay. So I want you to first measure, take your middle finger and your thumb. This is how you can get the long strike. I want you to use this and see that you can, you will be able to touch the top of your head and your chin. See, my beard is coming out longer, but this is where my chin is. Top of the head and six. I want you to stretch it out as wide as possible. This, okay, this measurement that you took is X. This is X, your head measurement. Now, from below this chin, okay, from below this, from below this, as in you can take from the, almost at the bottom of the neck. And this measurement, again, you do this, you will see this is reaching the middle of your chest, your plex is reaching. This is what? 2x, right? Let's do that again from that exact point. I want you to pinch it. Exact point. See how my fingers are going. You will see that now I have reached twice the head measurement and where is it touching? Right below your belly button, your hip region. Right? This. You getting it? X, 2x. See, I want you to follow this experiment carefully with me. See that? You will get it here. See, if you follow it, you should exactly get it because we are not built differently. At the end of the day, how this comes is that, yes, somewhere there, somewhere, almost there. So, so at the end of the day, you need to understand that we are all creations of a universal force. We are all built the same. We are all built the same. This, we are built in proportions. We make hundreds of divisions. Your color is different. Your skin color is different. Your race is different. Your religion is different. Your this, that, this. So many things are different. But at the end of the day, we are all built the same. Let's take this a little more. Now you reach this point. I want you to measure this again. Just extend it here. And then from that same point, you will see that this is touching your midsection. It's also called the Muladhara. That's where it is. See? And then you go down like that. You will see at seven times. So at Muladhara, 
and from there you go down you will eventually see that at seven times you will touch your feet you can take this experiment you need to give it a little time because you cannot what you see you'll have to give it time and you'll have to do it but eventually you will see that this proportionate system this is how it works it's not some it's not because i am making it up this has been discovered this has been discovered by many people people are, this is so this uh, this is something that uh, the great masters of the past have discovered they have dissected the human body and they have found this out and that is how it works yes so now we're going to use this proportionate structure we're going to use this proportionate structure and we are going to do it so now here let's start drawing the very first thing now here this is where i want you to take your pencil this is where i want you to take your pencil and i want you to start following you can take because if you start calculating checking it's going to take uh, you some time so let's let's follow along okay So now you can take any pencil that you want. It's okay, 2B, HB, that's not a problem. The very first thing I want you to do is I want you to just take a, this one. See? Just draw a line at the center. Just draw a line at the center. See that? Start by drawing a line at the center. This line. You're just setting your pencil here and you're just, you're just pulling it down. That's it. Drawing a line at the center, number one. Number two is I want you to just decide, pick one point on the top of the paper. Pick one point on the top of the paper. This is going to be the topmost. And I want you to pick the point at the bottom. This is the bottom. This is the base. Okay the top and the bottom. Why are we doing this? We are doing this so that we can get, uh, we know how big the portion is going to be, neck part. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll talk, I'll tell you about the neck. We'll, we'll talk about the neck as we draw this along. Okay, good question. Good observation and good question. So you're here you can set the top and you can set the bottom. This, this, this is, the reason we are doing this is because Sometimes what happens is when I'm making a drawing, I'm drawing the head, then I'm drawing a little bit of the body. And then as I keep extending, as I keep extending it, sometimes you will see that the leg is not fitting and you'll have to adjust, you'll have to bring some adjustments and it won't look good. So just decide how much is going to be. If you have a scale, you can just use a scale and check if it is coming somewhere as a multiple of seven or seven and a half. If you're having that, if you're getting a scale, then it will be good. So let's say you're making your entire drawing is 15 centimeter. So it's a multiple of seven and a half. Something like that, if you can set, it is great. Otherwise it's not, it's no problem, okay? Now, the very first thing I want you to do here is that this entire structure that you have drawn, this entire line you have drawn, I want you to try dividing it into seven parts or divided into eight parts okay divided into eight parts that you can do even without a scale even if you do not have a scale you can divide your drawing into eight parts how just find the middle first number one just find the middle and you can divide it there so now what you have divided is into two parts correct see you can pinch your pencil like this from one end you can hold it here and then again you can pinch it you can hold it here and then again you can hold it here See, pinch your pencil from the end and then just see this if it is matching. So even if you don't have a scale, you can do this. That's why I'm asking you to do it this way. Sometimes you might be like, I don't have a scale, what to do? I can't draw. No, I don't want anyone of you to be like that. You can do without a scale. Now what you have divided this into two parts. Again, further divide this into two parts. And what happens now? You have divided this into how many parts? Eight parts. I mean four parts, correct? Again, divide this by two. Each of these portions is divide this by two. 
and what have you got you are creating a drawing with eight parts you have now divided this into eight parts you want me to show that what i did again for you yes the dividing process i'll repeat it again it's very very simple i want you to divide this entire line into eight parts if you have a scale you can directly divide it this is especially for people who don't have a scale if you have a scale just divide equally and you know just just set it and divide equally it becomes very easy for the, for those of you who do not have a scale first divide this into two two equal parts so you can use your pencil like this you can pinch here and you can do that see now what i have divided this into two parts okay so hold the pencil from one end pinch it here and you will see that this is one part this is two parts okay done yes next divide this into each of these parts divide into two more parts so again you can use your pencil and you can pinch like that and then again two more now divide this into pencil pinch and then again do it and two more see so now how many parts have you divided this you must have divided this into four parts comment in four if you have been able to divide yes four comment in four if you have been able to divide this into four parts okay now if you have four parts how to divide this into eight again divide this by two see this top portion divide this by two and then again divide by two and then again divide by two and the bottom portion also divide by two so in total how much have you got Eight. So comment in eight if you've been able to get it eight. And as much as possible, this has to be eight equal divisions. I want to ensure that you're all able to follow along with me so far. So comment in E C if you have been able to follow along with me so far. That it's uh, you know that it's not getting uh, too complicated or you're able to follow the instructions step by step by step as I tell. As I tell you to draw one line, draw one line. As I tell you to divide, divide. As I tell you to make a shape, make a shape. That's just it. Okay. Super, got eight. Okay, eight, eight, eight parts. Now you need to understand that for the entire drawing, for the entire drawing, you're going to use, you're going to use like seven parts of this. Okay, and then a half of it is going to come for the feet. Seven. See, you can position it however you want. I think on the top, I'm just leaving it a little gap so that I can then add the crown on top, and I can do all that. Because this head, see the crown, just like my hat is going to be coming over the head. So as I'm, as I'm positioning it, I'm positioning it slightly below the page so that I can get some space for the crown. So you want to look into that and do it. Now for the first, each of this we can consider as equivalent of one head measurement. Okay. Each of this we can consider as equivalent to one head measurement. Now this head. This measurement, here's what we can do. I want you to draw the shape of the head. How? I'm going to show you now. The shape of the head looks like this. The shape of the head looks like one, you're going to draw a circle. And below that circle, you're adding a cup. See? Don't draw just a circle. No. That is not how. Have you seen anyone's head looking like this? No, right. You don't see that. So it's a circle. Below the circle, just draw a cup. See? That's a two steps. You can show it as a circle and a cup. No problem. But this is how it is. Your head is neither 
completely oval nor is it completely circle. It is a combination of a little. So it's a circle plus a cone, right? So this topmost portion, okay, I'm not going to zoom in right now because I want you to see the entire drawing with relation to it. Ensure that this whatever you're making, Ensure that whatever you're making, you're making it combination of a circle and a cone. See, and this has to lie within, with, without even being said, it should be understood that this has to come within the first division that you have made. If you're able to get this so far, you have successfully made the first part of the human body come into one. Cup should touch the line. Exactly. This is the chin. See, the bottom of the cup is your chin. Top of the circle is your is your head crown. Okay. Comment in one. You have successfully, congratulations, you have successfully completed the first part of this entire human body. Okay. One. Superb. Super happy to see you're all able to do it. So, hooray, you did it. Now, for the remaining part, for the remaining part of the body, I want you to now, again, pause drawing for now and again, look back carefully into the screen because I'm going to explain what is going to be done. See, when you're looking at the entire body, here, when you're looking at the entire body here, it looks often complex, right? It can get intimidating. There is the armor, there is the torso, there are the muscles you want to draw. And what do we do often? When we have something that is very complex and we have to draw, we tend to start with the details. Yes. Answer yes if you're able to relate to this. That if you want to try something complex, we start with the last most thing that attracts us the most. No matter if it is art, even if it is any single thing that you want to do, you look at what is most attractive, but which is often the last final detail and we try to do that. But I want you to go back to the basics. I want you to understand the basics. And when it comes to the basics, the most basic of a human body is our skeletal structure. No matter whether it is Prabhas, whether it is you, me, whether it is a uh, rat pet, Mahatma Gandhi, do you agree with me that the skeletons look the same? If I had to distinguish, if I had to give you skeleton of five famous personalities and tell you to identify between then will you be able to tell? Yes, some differences occur. Some people are genetically disposed to have a greater bone density. I get all that. I get all that. Some people are uh, uh, predisposed to get a stronger bone density, height, maybe some difference will be there. But more or less, you agree? Do you agree with me that you will be, uh, all of our skeletal structures look the same? Yes, and you'll not be able to distinguish. Yes. So now that this is uh, there, so yes, I study the human body. I understand this. <laughs> so now, now, when we draw also, we are going to approach, we are going to approach the drawing in the similar way. We are first going to draw the structure. And then over that, we are going to add the layer of the body. On top of that body, we are going to add the layer of muscles. We are going to add the layer of the armor. We're going to add the further finishing touches and finally we're going to shade. This is very similar to constructing a building where you first set the beams and columns and then over that you build the superstructure. So here, this technique is called, the famously called the stick figure technique and it's similar to the game Hangman that you played. In this technique, what you're going to do is that you're going to take the entire figure and I hope it's clear what I'm going to show, what I'm showing on screen. Don't draw, just look. That the human body, if you want to make a skeletal structure, skeletal structure, you'll see that there is a head. You can just start showing it with, a, with an oval. And then you can see this upper body as a single line. I'm not going to draw the entire skeletal mass. I'm not going to draw the ribs and everything. I'm just going to draw it like a stick figure. This can be the hips. 
okay don't draw this book okay this book just this can be the arms and then this can be the legs see i'm just going to show the legs here again now tell me is this is this structure the way that i have drawn easy or not comment in easy if you think this is easy and you can you get you'll also be able to do it no matter what stage you are right looks very easy right see if i gave you this entire picture and asked you to draw it at once you will not be able to i mean most of you not be able to of course we have a lot of our advanced students coming here and uh, 100 percent you will be able to but then as a beginner you will find it difficult so but then here look this approach you will see that it's it gets very easy now we had i had previously also shown you that each of these parts comes with a certain proportion for example this is the head this is the upper body and then you have the lower body remember one time two time four times now you tell me i want you to also answer this okay i want you to answer that that can you follow along this stick figure along this proportionate grids that we had previously drawn give me a yes in the chat box if you can do that before we go forward please have a sip of water yes hydrate hydrate most important otherwise great bahubali you will be angry please have a sip of water bahubali need a water no so so you get it right that is exactly what you're going to do so you all said you you can do it and i'm only doing see now you all already know it i mean at every step you realize i'm asking you can you do this step you're telling i can do this step can you do that step you're telling i can do that step so i'm only making you do what you already know i want you to realize that you all have that inner artist within you so now here i'm going to draw a line in the center and how long is this line going to be this line is going to be of two times see two times this grid now here you're going to draw the shoulders but before drawing the shoulders please follow these basic guide guidelines that i'm going to give to you before drawing the shoulders one leave like a uh, little gap for the neck see a lot of you ask me about the neck see how little gap i left for the neck the reason is that if you look at the structure of our head our head when viewed from the side they look like this correct so the head majority of the neck is viewed from the side majority of the head is viewed from the side i'll be explaining as a draw along i'll be explaining this about see but on the front how much can you see very little of the neck you can see in the front especially in this pose if i'm looking up it's a different story but when you're looking straight you see this very little of the neck is visible so i don't want you to leave a long neck like this not this long but very little gap you're going to leave for the neck very little just to make it very small almost inconsequential and i want you to draw the shoulders how are you going to draw the shoulders how are you going to draw the shoulders you going to draw the shoulders in such a manner that i'm very happy to see that we have people joining from different parts of the world today it's beautiful it's typically attended by indians but i can see a lot, huge cultural diversity today and it's amazing so now here yes so abhishek the body division if i have to explain again it is going to get very tough my my dear because we basically made this entire division into eight parts I, you just basically if i have to explain two sentences you have a line here at the center and then you can divide this by eight parts then draw the shape of the head that's it okay divide draw line at the center divide this to eight parts draw a line at the first part the head is two times of the bo the body is two times of the head the leg is two times of the body now here you draw in the shoulders you draw in the shoulders and this shoulder width this is a danger area this is a problematic area 
because sometimes when we draw the shoulders, we either draw it too wide or we draw it too narrow. So if we draw it too narrow, then he doesn't look like Vaho Belly. He looks like someone who will just be blown by a wind. So you don't want that. He's a mighty man, right? You want to show a mighty warrior. If you make it too wide, he will look, he will no longer look human. He'll look like the, a monster. The exact width of the shoulders. And this is going to blow you away. Okay, I'm going to give a lot of proportions. So you have to be very attentive as you're doing it. You have to be very attentive. The exact width of the shoulders is two times that of the head, 2x. So this measurement that you're making, right? This measurement that you have taken, 2x. That is the width of the shoulders. So just draw a line that goes like this below the neck and you have this width of the shoulders. So just leave some gap width of the shoulders you have 2x. So this width, this length is the width. The human shoulders are not straight. They are slightly slanting. So don't draw straight shoulders because if you drew a straight shoulders, this is how I will look. If my shoulders are, this is how I will look. I will repeat, don't make it. But look at the shoulders. They are slanting. You see the shoulders follow a natural slant. Feel your shoulders. See, it's a natural slant. You see that? This slant, you have to follow along. So what you're going to now do is that you're going to from this, I'll, I'll repeat this entire process again for you. From slightly below this, you're going to draw a horizontal line. That is what two times this, see that is this length. This length, exact same width you're placing. This is your shoulder width. Okay. Yes. Now here, see the width will be two times the head. Two times the head is the shoulder width. Now when you're adding in muscles over this, it'll get wider. Right now, we are only drawing the skeletal structure. Please remember that. And from this, I'm just going to slant this line slightly, like these lines, these two lines are there. Instead of drawing it perfectly straight, I'm just going to slant it slightly, maintaining the same width. So you can just slant it slightly. Now this is what your drawing looks like, see? Give it a slight slant, don't over slant it. I mean, this, this is very important, guys. Don't make it too slanting like this. A slight, let's say like a five degree slant, five to eight degree slant. And you're just slanting and this is, looks more like your natural shoulders. See? Right now this looks like a cloth hanger. You're supposed to draw a cloth hanger. This total width is what I was telling is two times the head of the head. Or it is one time that of the body. Give me a yes in the chat box if you're able to follow this along so far. you are able to do this. A cloth hanger. You're just basically drawing a cloth hanger. Slightly slanting line. But this width from end to end is... This is equivalent to this two times. See, notice where my pencil is going. You just have to look along and follow. All right. Now here, this is the body. This is this. 30 centimeters. If you're drawing 30 centimeters, it's pretty huge. 30 centimeters means divide how much is 30 by... Uh, why don't you make it like a multiple of 8? Make it like 24 centimeters and draw. I think that'd be easier. Because, you know, you can make it like 3 centimeters... Three centimeters for the head and you can do the do everything accordingly. Width of the shoulder and the head. So the shoulder, the head is of X measurement. The body is of 2X measurement. The body below the, below the head till the waistline. The width of the shoulders is also 2X measurement. I hope that's it. I hope this relationship between the head and the shoulder width is now clear. Okay, now that this is ready, now that this is done, you're now going to draw the waist, you're going to draw the hip. When you're drawing the hip, please remember that don't make it wider than the shoulders because if you make the hip wider than the shoulders, what happens? You lose the frame. See, when you're looking at a man, especially a masculine frame, is such that, masculine frame is such that the width the hip width is wider than the shoulders. 
so you are now going to draw the the hips don't make it as make it almost equal to shoulders or slightly na narrower than the shoulders don't make it more than the shoulders now you will obviously ask okay so how much for the shoulders you told me make it twice the length of the head the width for the hips how much i don't know this the only thing is there is no clear measurement here you will see that some of you will have a 32 inch waistline some of you have a 36 inch waistline some of you with huge bodies will only have a 28 inch waistline <laughs> so this this is just something that's very different for each one of us so at the end of the day only thing is if you connect this edge to this it has to look like a small v now please remember a common mistake that can happen here is making the waistline too wide or making it too narrow don't make it too narrow if you make it too narrow it will look it will not look like a real person at all you all seen people right there is no one here who has not seen another living person living man so how will a man look that is what you going to do okay that is what is going to do so this is what is going to come so now now that this is ready we are going to draw the third part and that is the mid section i want you to pull this line a little down i want you to pull this a little down and then at this point draw a triangle see you're going to draw this semi kite like shape this is your mid section now i'm going to tell you some common mistakes that you're going to make right away so you do avoid this mistake number 1 drawing a straight rectangle that is not what i did see ex ha huh. so sri ram the thing is that it's about the uh, muscles that you add so when you are adding muscles when you are adding the uh, when you are adding when you know when a person builds muscles over the shoulders over this more and more layer is built like see what basically adds width for a person are these three muscles traps trapezoids upper chest and then the shoulders or deltoids these three muscles when it's added it you know it's uh, it adds width and layers the basic structure does not change you must have seen these transformation pictures right a skinny person going completely buff how do they do that it's the layers of muscles that's added and then of course a little bit about the proportions are are also that the hip should the hip width is just is completely genetic <coughs> the hip measurement is completely genetic that's why you know some people they say are genetically gifted or uh, you know rithik roshan you took the example greek hot wide shoulders narrow hip line gifted okay and of course hard work you can't say it's all gifted he's put in he spends and put in lot of work cre creating the physique as well so now here don't draw perfect triangle but just pull this down line a little and draw the shape see this is your mid section okay now out of this i want you to draw two lines that go straight down this line i want you to bring it till here i want you to bring it till the last division see the mid section see the mid section is starting so right now you have drawn at first division you have drawn the head second and third division you have drawn the upper body this is what see i'll number it by the side this is number 1 this is your second division this is your third division this is your fourth division you get that on your fourth division i want you to draw this mid section shape this basically are adding a little more width for the belt and then for the groin region so this is number 4 here what i want you to avoid doing is i want you to avoid drawing a triangle wrong add a little bit down and then draw the shape see this is the shape all right now here from in between this i want you to pull a line and where is this line ending this is the last division right your last division on top of this last division is where it's ending here also
Okay. So here from this, you're pulling it down. Where is it ending? Slightly shy of this, see? And then again, you're going to do that for the other side as well. You can just pull out straight lines going from the middle of this and you can just pull it down here. See that? This is your human body. We can add the feet and we can add the feet and other details later. I will, I will show you how you can add the feet. For now, for drawing the feet, simply do as I say, and that is right now for the feet. What I want you to do is. This last division, see, I'll number it again. Number five, number four is the midsection. Five, six, and seven is entirely the legs. Okay. Five, six, seven is entirely the legs. This last eight division, half of it is going to be the feet. So you can just add this shape like a, you can just add the shape. Uh, you know, this, this, uh, I don't know what to call the shape. This shape that is like a kettle. You just start that for it. See? You start the shape of a kettle. So this seven and at seven and a half is where this is going to end. Yeah, like a yeah, trapeze game. Good one. See? Like a cup upside down. Good. See, now you're, you're coming up with your own uh, ways of understanding. Good. This is exactly what I wanted for this workshop. That you are able to understand, grasp and follow along. And come up with your own intelligent ways. So let's repeat what we just did. The, the center line, we divided to eight parts. We drew the head two times. This is the upper body, midsection, the lower body. And finally, now uh, you will be thinking uh, when I'm going to have a look at your work, I'll have a look at your work once you do this. Let's should be straight. So here, very good question, Keats. In this, if you're drawing a perfectly straight, let's say to look like he's standing in attention, to make it more realistic, you can keep it slightly slanting line. Don't bend it. Keep it slightly slanting. Make sure the legs are starting from the middle of this point, see? And keep it slightly slanting. Okay. Keep it slightly slanting. See that? Slightly slanting, but still straight line. No bend, nothing. Slightly slanting, straight line. So once you draw the hands, I'll have a look at your work and then we can move forward. Now, after this, we have the hands. But before I draw the hands, I want to ensure that you have all done this. You have got this seven and a half division. See, it is very clear at half the feet is standing. Comment in 7.5, you've been able to get this proportionally. You can double check what you've done with regards to what, in relation to what I have made, because I have Clear, created the division. I have shown you where each of these divisions are coming. You can see number one, number two, number five, number seven, and seven and a half. All these is coming. Got it. Seven and a half. Got it. Seven and a half. Repeat making of the foot. The making of the foot right below the leg. Just add this trapezium shape. See? Below this, just add this small mini trapezium shape. I've highlighted it here. Like that, you can just draw. Got it? Great. Excellent. Superb. So now here, remember that you can, this, what we did, just did is a template for anyone. You can turn this to Batman if you don't want to draw Bahubali. You can turn this to Ram. Ram Saran. Ram, that's what you want. Or if you want to draw, I don't know, who's your idol? Hrithik Roshan. Or Mahatma Gandhi, Netaji. You can turn this to that person. You see that? This is the ABCD technique. So now here, 
we'll draw the hands but before drawing the hands i just wanted to understand where the hands are coming so i believe in understanding and not just simply listening and believing i want you to again once again stand up keep your hands by your side stand up keep your hands just keep your hands by your side and you will see that where is your hands coming you will see your elbows is touching the ribs see that is your elbows touching this is almost at the bottom, you know, almost at the rib region. You will see that. Yes. So, Sharavanan for male and female, I'll just get into that after we draw. For female, the difference is shoulders are narrow, hips are wider than the shoulders. The structure of the body is also different. For men, mostly we draw the waist rib. For women, we draw the uh, hourglass shape. And then the shoulder, for the women, the hips are typically wider than the shoulders and the shoulders that's just it so now just look here where is your hands coming just lift your hands first. where is it coming you will see that your hands finger end is reaching slightly shy of the knees see it's not touching the knees it's at the lower portion of the of my leg somewhere around here somewhere coming here exactly the wrist ends at the midsection the wrist comes at the midsection and this is what, and your fingers are at your lower, lower, you know, leg muscles, lower quadricep muscles. Yes, give me a yes in the chat box if you're able to get this. Simple enough. Okay. So now, now here, let's draw this, let's draw this uh, arms. So I want you to be mindful of what you're creating, be mindful of what you're drawing. We will slightly bend them. We'll not draw it correctly straight. So just draw this. Keep this knee, keep this elbow bent. Where will your uh, uh, ribs be? Like we had observed, slightly above this. See, this is where your waistline is coming. This is where your waistline is coming. Slightly above this, this, this elbow bend will come. And then you're just going to slightly... Like keep it, keep it going more towards the side like this because that is how his hands are, right? The structure is more towards the side. So you leave a little bit of width like this. Elbows bend. And then just bend it here. You will see that this wrist, see this is where the wrist is coming. This is touching the midsection. And you can just draw a circle here. And you can do the same for the other side as well, see. Keep it going nice and wide. Keep it going nice and wide. So the hands, I started off from the shoulders. Let this go wide. Don't bring it close to the body. Like let it go a little wide and slanting. Bend it at, bend it above the hip region. See, this is your hips, right? Add a small bend above your hip region. And then again, pull another line. This arm has to end at the midsection and then you're going to draw a circle. I'm going to repeat that again for the other side. You start from the shoulder region, draw a line that is going out, outways, bend it above the hip. See, this is the hip. Above the hip, you're going to bend it. And we'll go. And then you're going to simply bend this again so that you can get this arm and this one. You're just going to slightly bend it here. See, this is where your wrist is coming. This is your elbows. This first bend is your elbows. This end is your wrist. And here you can just add this shape. So this is your this is your structure. This is your stick figure. Congratulations if you've been able to do this so far. You have done almost, I will say, more than 60% of the drawing. If you have been able to do this so far, awesome. And I hope you have all been able to. Why don't you all turn on your cameras now and show me what you have been doing. All of you show me if you are able to get this. Okay. I will not be able to individually review each one of your work, but... I will pick up a few corrections, few, few works that's catching my eyes and then I will tell you what can be done. Okay. Great. 
So some I can see that some of you have already made a lot of this notes and corrections. So Bhavna, I can see that you've used heavy pens. Thing is that next I will be asking you to add in details. I'll be asking you to add in the details with pens and everything. So I'm not sure if on this you'll be able to do it again. You will have to make one more similar sketch very quickly with pencil. Okay. And it's only going to take a few minutes. I mean, the first time you do, it'll take you like it'll think like it's going it's taken us an hour now. But next time you do, we'll do in two minutes. And I'll show you. The coming times I'll show you. Okay. Super. Let's look at Ruchika. Very nice. See, Ruchika's exactly got it. Look at this. It's as simple as this. The hands are white. Are you already seeing the posture coming in? You see that Ruchika now on this, you can draw your favorite person, anyone you want. Yes. That. That is the thing. Let's have a look at few more works. Let's have a look at few more. Shlok Chitare, very nice. Mane Diyash. Let's so let's go to the rocking star. Very nice. Superb man. I love it. So you got it? You have also got it. I am not able to find out any corrections of anyone. Is it so good? Our instruction so good that nobody is making any mistakes. I want to point out someone who's done a few things so that I can tell this needs to be corrected. Sarang, very good work, Sarang. Toshiba, Veena, Sagar, very good work. Gurpreet, very nice. Bindu, superb. Nazos here, yeah, amazing. So, oh, someone's, someone else has come with the name Soul Flow. That's very interesting. So the thing is that here, just a few, just a one thing that's coming to coming off the mind is that just ensure that the width between the be mindful of the width between the shoulders and the hips. Okay, be mindful of the width between the shoulders and the hips because if the shoulders are uh, if the hips is too wide, it will take away from the shape and the proportion. Let's look at if I can find out someone. Siddhar. Okay, so Siddhar, for you, you have got this thing correct, but I can see that there is too many lines and there is, it's very dark. When you draw, when you draw lots of lines and you make it very dark, it will be difficult for you to understand what is exactly needed and what is not needed. So you have to, when you draw, when you make this drawing, okay, when you make this drawing, you have to draw in such a manner that your guidelines that you're making are very light. The guidelines you're making are very light and the most important, the shape lines, structural lines are only what is dark. Okay. See, my guidelines are very light. The, the structural lines are dark. And later on, we'll even erase this. So even this is not something that we'll be needing again and again. And even this we will erase. Okay. Uh, that's it. So I think we're good. Let's have a look at Arav's work as well. Arav, my dear. Should just raise it up. Okay. So Arav, you have done this, but the problem is now. It's very well drawn. First of all, it's very well drawn. I love it. The problem here is that it's very small. How will you add the details inside this? But the thing is, see, if this I'm making, I can draw the head. See, I'll later on ask you to add the facial expression. I'll ask you to add the mustache. I'll ask you to add the armor, the, the emblem. How will you do that if it's very small? So make a drawing that is reasonably big. A5 is what I think, according to me, works the best. But you feel free to try with your own size. Superb, guys. So with that, we are done. We're good to go. Please make sure you hydrate, drink water, keep drinking water. Keep drinking water and we can go. All right. Okay. So now that this is ready, now that this is ready, we can now add the next step. What is the next step? Congratulations. You're now going to add the details. You're going to add the shape, the clothing and the details inside. You're going to add the details inside. So how are you going to add the details? First things first, I want you to listen very carefully to the each and every instruction that I'm giving because this is crucial. I'm going to start with the crown. I'm going to start with the crown. And I'm going to start by 
adding this shape above the head. See, above this, I'm going to add the shape and I'm just going to add another round. Now this. Circle above it. Why do you want to leave? We are only halfway through the drawing. Why do you want to leave midway? I don't understand. So now, on this, you can also add this, you know, this shape. See how to draw the shape. First, you have this, you divide it. Then over that, you just add a curve. And on this, you just add this flame-like shape. That forms the helmet, see? This flame-like shape forms the helmet. So now that has become the, I mean, not the helmet, that has become the crown. This flame-like shape has become the crown. See that? First, on this head, make a small division, add a little bit of width, and above that, add this fire-like shape. See just this one curve going up, pointy, one curve coming down. Okay, that's your first step. Now, add a little width to the neck. See, how are you going to add width to the neck? You have the face, you have the face coming here. On either side of this, you're just going to add in two, one, one line each. So now you have got the width for the neck. Don't make it very thin. Make it reasonably wide enough because you are drawing someone who is huge, then make that neck also fairly big enough. See that? How it's coming here. So that comes with practice, Dr. Khan. That only comes with practice. That is where a lot and lots of practice is going to come into play. And after this class, after this session, I'll also tell you how you can get more practice or you can get more mentorship and how you can go in deeper. So I can't enlarge, see my screen is at spotlight. I can zoom in a little closer, so that's the best I can do. Now here you are adding a little bit. Let's do the same for the shoulder. So here you have the shoulder, this is your structure. Over this, you're just adding a little bit of mass. See, on top of this, I want you to add in a little bit of thickness. Like that. From the neck, I want you to add in a little bit of thickness. It is coming to the shoulders. See, now you're adding a frame. This is how you're adding frame and thickness. If you want to draw someone bigger, you make this bigger. You can adjust, you can play around with the size. If you're drawing someone who's skinny, you will not be adding it. You understand? If you're drawing someone who's skinny, you will not be adding it because then what? More or less, there is, there is very little muscle mass that is left there. Okay? Very little muscle mass is left there. And that is what you can do. We'll now draw the arms. I'll wait for you. So I'll just wait for you. So if you want some time to capture, I'll just wait. And then we can go. So just think around that. Just the first, the head, then the neck, then the shoulders. And once you come in S, I'll move on to the next step. We'll move on to drawing the arms. This is the, this is also part of shoulders, it's called traps. Okay. Now you're going to add the width for the shoulders. Now be very careful, be very careful as you draw this. Because sometimes here you have a turn that is coming to the shoulders. You, but then at this other time, how, what is the shape of your shoulder? See, this is like a sharp 90 degree turn, correct? From this to here is like a sharp 90 degree turn. But what is the actual shape of your shoulders? Your actual shape of the shoulders is that it is round. It is rounded and it is coming. So there is this round. I want you to touch the side of your shoulders and feel the round. 
See, feel that. Develop that bodily awareness. Feel that round. Of the, see, this, it's rounded. So you're going to get this roundedness for the shoulders, ball and joint structure. Exactly. You're going to get the roundedness only if you add a small circle here, keeping this point. See this joints where this line, this line, this line are meeting. Keep that as the center and add a small circle so that you can get this rounded shape coming. You get that? Now, before we draw the arms, just to give you a little bit of extra information on the proportions and shape, the length of the arms, you see, from the elbows to your shoulders, elbows to your shoulders is same as from your elbows to your wrist. See, this bend it. Bigger circle means bigger muscle. Exactly, Alka. That's exactly the point. Bigger the circle, you make the more muscular and rounded the person is. But always remember that uh, it's always about a game of proportion. If you're adding muscles on one part, you have to ensure that you make the arms bigger. You have to make the legs bigger. You have to make the chest bigger. Every part has to go get rounder and bigger accordingly. Structure remains the same. See, notice this from the elbows to your shoulders and from your elbows to your wrists. See, your arms can be divided into two parts. See, yeah, I cannot uh, uh, finish the class faster to accommodate for you. The workshop timing is from 10 to 1. You registered in knowing that, right? So I, because you have to accommodate the class, how can you ask me to complete fast? So now here, from the elbows to the wrist I have, okay? This is here. Now then, the same thing you can see for the legs as well. For the legs, okay? I'm not that flexible. I can't bring my legs up till here. But you can just bend your legs and you can see that. If you just bend your legs, you will see that. Your ankle to your knees, the same as from your knees till your hips. This portion is going to touch your feet. See, I don't have, not that flexible. But you will see that this legs also, the knees are coming at the midway of the legs and the elbows is coming at the midway of the arms. Yes, get it? Just an extra information for you extra information for you because we did not really, we are not really using it in the drawing, but just an extra information. So, you know, you get that bit as well. You can use this by simply checking if this from here is same as this from here. See, just measure like this. This from here, the same as this from here. See that? Just, you can just measure. That's a very, very simple thing. Just a small thing, that's it. Yes, Sumit, the body is complicated. The point is, I did not tell you that you it's going to be easy. I'm going, my promise is that no matter how complicated the drawing is, if you follow my instructions, you'll be able to come get the outcome. It is complicated and that's my job here, to simplify the complicated process for you. So that's it. I mean, just, just you can just see that your elbows and the legs are, knees are at the middle. That's it. Now here, you're just going to add the arm width how from the width, from the side of the shoulders, you can just draw this shape, see, the cylindrical shape, and that will form the arms. Just from the side elbows, you can just add the cylindrical shape and it will form the arms. It's okay, trust the process. Trust the process, see. From this portion, you can just add this width and it will be the arms. Same thing for the other portion also. Just draw a small cylindrical shape. Maybe you can just make it slightly narrower at the bottom than at the top. Like if you're drawing the shape of the arms, you can draw the shape of the arms such that. Yes, exactly. You can draw the shape of the arms such that. It is widest at the shoulders. It's coming here, slightly narrower at the elbows. And then it is narrowest at the wrist. So it is not an exact cylinder. It is a tapered cylinder. You understand what a tapered cylinder is? You understand what a tapered shape is? This 
is your cylinder. This is your tapered cylinder. See, it's a small difference. And same thing for the elbows as well. See, from here till here. From here, from the elbows till the wrist. And then from the wrist, you can either turn it to the, if you know, if you want to show the legs, you will see that you can easily turn this to legs. If you want to show the feet, the basic structure is the same. So if you want to show the legs, I'm going to show the legs. Can do this. See? So now here, that is the shape, and you can do that for the other arm as well. If you're not getting the first arm correct, try for the other arm. See, from this we added this round so that you can get this width. From this, you just get this elegant shape coming in here. See? From here. This is coming. This is your arm. You can notice that it's wider at the top, narrower at the bottom. You can add a little bit of shape and width for the chest as well, making it come here. And you're just adding, just overall, just adding this little bit of roundness here for the chest. And you can just add this, you can just add the small round for the chest because we'll add in the details later. But to just show that there is a chest muscle, you can just add this roundness, bring it here. And you can add the belt see do you notice how step by step by step the entire drawing is falling in place see you just add the small width for this tangle and you get that Okay. Just waiting for you. Comment in yes if you've been able to do this so far. You draw on the arms, you draw on the legs, you draw on the belt. And what is left that leaves us only a drawing the legs. For the legs, we're just going to keep it very simple because you know there isn't uh we don't fortunately we don't have to draw the shape for the legs, it's a dhoti, and we can't clearly see what is going on. So I'll just keep it very simple here for the legs. I can just add this width coming here like that of the cylinders you can just start this bit coming here like that of the cylinder and i can just draw the shape so this shape this coming here and then you can cut a curve that's coming like this over this line you're just going to add the shape see and then again here from here you can add the shape that is Slightly, you know, just like how you do the arms. Slightly thick at the top, narrow at the bottom. See that? How did you draw the arms? It's thick from the top, narrower in the middle, middle, right? Thick and as it comes here, it's getting narrower. And here, you know, like we'll just keep it very simple. I'm not going to get into the details of drawing the knees and everything. We're going to keep it very simple. You can just draw this. Dhoti Veshti like this. It goes here. As far as his legs and everything is concerned, where would be the knee? The knee will be at the middle between here and here is where the knee will be. Like it's not really playing a big part in the drawing. So I'm just going to ignore it for now. I'm going down uh, deliberately ignoring there is a slight bend in the knee, him walking, fold. I'm deliberately ignoring it to simplify the process for you. Because a lot of beginners here, 
and I want to keep the process as simple as possible. So let's just do that. And here as an event for the feet, even for this feet, you can just this shade, the same shape you have drawn, you can just do it. So here, you know, we'll later shade and cover it up, but you can maintain that shape and you can get it. See how to draw the legs. It's basically you're drawing this flower petal like shape. It's white. And then you're pulling a line like this. And then here another is coming. And then again, here it's coming. The next step, we have to add in a few more details, such as the bracelets, arms, chest symbol, sword, and everything. But before I move into that, I'll just give you some time to catch up. I'll give you some time to correct anything, any changes you want to bring. I also have a, want to just bring a few adjustments on my drawing. So if you see, like, if like me, you feel that you've drawn the arms too close and you want to make it a little more further apart, you can do that. You can just bring in a few corrections and changes on shape, on what it is. The reference is here. Just draw the shape like this. For, you. That's it. for now, just keep it that way because later on, it's not very clearly visible. For now, just to show it is there, you can just keep it like this. This shape, this cup like shape, you can draw. Okay. And same thing for this. For the other arm as well, if you think that, you know, you, you got in, uh, you feel you could adjust some areas, you could do that. So some of you are asking me, can you show the legs? Like, I can show, no problem. So how exactly do I do the legs? I can draw a stray, I can draw a few stray lines and I can get it finished done with. But instead of that, first I have already drawn this line at the center. Around it, you're just adding a small curve and you're just pulling it inwards. See, like the shape of this dhoti. Small curve and you're pulling it down. Like it's like, imagine a cylinder on which you're just bringing in some changes. Imagine the cylinder on which you're bringing in some changes and you can just add the shape of the dhoti that's coming here. And just, just bringing in this. So this is like a, if this is your cylinder, you're going to break it down to a shape that's curving at the side, slightly open at the center, again curving at the side, more or less like a petal of a flower. And that is your legs. So there you go. Here's your drawing for now. And once you have done all this and you have been able to follow, comment in each C. It's easy, right? One step at a time, one, one line at a time, one step at a time, one line at a time. We can create anything that we want. Anything. Like I think the most important thing, what stops all of us is this mental frame that we have, that it's hard, it's difficult. And it is this frame I want you all to let go of. We'll add in the next level of details in just a short while, but I want to ensure that you have all done it. Okay. I want to see a few more comments to ensure that we are all here and, you know, because the next is the final step. Legs without dhoti. Just like drawing the arms, my friend. So if you want to show the legs without the dhoti, if this is your legs, okay, let's say this is this is how had we drawn the legs earlier. We drew this midsection and then we have this coming in. So if you have to show the legs without dhoti, just like how you will draw the arms, see, you can just show the shape. Wide at the top, narrow at the bottom. And then same, you can show for the lower legs as well. That is the shape of the legs. You can make the, yes, right leg bigger than the left. So Alka, I'm not going into all those details. Like I said, I'm drawing a static figure because for the sake of simplification. For the sake of, because see, remember that it's your first, it's a very first drawing. And at the end of the day, our outcome is for you to understand how to get the human body. Now, in the next level, because after this, I'll tell you more about how you can join it for the master classes, where we learn about every single detail. Facial expression, hands, how to get that length to it, how to get that 
distance, that feeling of distance, more complicated yoga postures. Because when you're drawing a different, you know, let's say you're drawing a chakrasan, then this whole application takes on a whole another level. That becomes a completely different thing altogether. Okay. So now that this is done, we are now going to move on to the details. And the first detail that I want to start with is the emblem at the heart. That is this round. I'm just going to draw this round. We'll do it. So first, we'll do the suit. So first is this round at the chest. And you can add this round neck, this collar, this round collar for the arm. This round chest and this collar, okay? That is the first thing. We can add some more width to the arms because, you know, Prabhas, it's Prabhas and you want to draw muscular man. This entire shape you are drawn might be a little frail for you. So you can just add and you know just make this entire shape overall slightly bulkier. How to bulk up the arms? So here I have shown you how to draw the arms. Okay, this is your let's say this is your arms. Right now, what happens? It's looking frail. It's looking frail. Right. But how can I add width to this? On this, the basic shape is remains the same. Wide, na wide at the top, narrow towards the uh, elbows, and as it reaches the wrist again, it gets narrow. This is the big same. On this, you can add in more width. See, this is for the biceps, biceps. See, let's add in forearms. Get a bit of thickness here. Now, do you see how suddenly the arms have grown in size? Structure remains the same, the arms grow in size. I mean, yes, if you're able to see that, if you are able to get this. This is how you do. This is the essence. Over the same frame, you basically add the thickness in accordance to the shape. But of course, remember that the biceps has a different shape. The triceps has its shape. Like if you're not following the exact shape of it, it'll look off. But that is a different matter altogether. Like each of the muscles has a different shape and insertion. That, of course, you know, I'll not be able to cover in depth today. But you can just get the idea. Once you get the idea of it, just over the same shape you're drawn, just make it thicker. That's it. See, for now, I'm just adding the, making this arms, shoulders, triceps and forearms. Everything, I'm just making it wider. Right? Everything I'm making it wider. Now, as far as the fist and the arms are concerned, this can be a little problematic. This can be a little complex. But before that, I just want you to draw this arm, um, this bracelet here. You know, what do you call it? This wrist support, forearm support here. I to draw this. The, yeah, the wrist guard. You can draw that. You can add this here. So on this inside, this you're just adding the shape. That's it. See? That's your arm. That's your arm. Now, as far as the fist is concerned, the fingers are often one of the most complex parts of a person. I mean, believe it or not, fingers are often one of the most complex parts of a body. That's even some of the most famous cartoons have like four fingers and not five. But to just simplify the process, what we are going to now do is that we are going to add in this shape in a manner that this looks like a wrist. Yes, drawing the fingers can be challenging and uh, you know, in fact, in order to properly teach fingers, I will need a session like this, a separate session like this to properly teach fingers because it is that uh, topic of the nature. But to keep it for this class, short duration, what we'll do is that I will add this. See, I'm just going to keep it a little sharp here, bent, and then 
notice this. Notice the shape that I'm drawing, okay? I'm just going to bend it a little here, here. And I'm going to add a small hook like this. I'm going to magnify that and show you. I'm going to magnify that and show you. This tape that you're drawing, add a small hook. This becomes your left arm, right arm also. Instead of this, just turn it to a hook. See? This we first drew the circle. I'll show this. We first drew the circle. The circle, I want you to turn this right, to that of a hook. This is the fastest and the easiest way to just represent fingers of a walking person like the shape of a hook. And it's going to be very small in your drawing. So you have to be extra careful as you do this. Make it like a hook. See? Both the arms, now you've drawn the hook shape. Or a small hip shape. Let's add the sword. First, draw a line that is just slanting like this. See, this is the position of the sword, right? Every time you add a detail, start with its position and draw the basic shape, and over there, add the details. The hook shape, Ram, is like this. See, you have first added a, drawn a shape like this for the wrist. Bend it here. Why are you? What did PM Modi do? Bend it here. And then, see, just bend it here, bend it here. Make it slightly longer and then add a cut that's coming like this. The other side of the hook has to be slightly smaller and you can do that. See that? This is your shape. For the other side, you're just going to do the reverse of it. It's very simple. So now that this is done, for the sword, just draw a slanting line, add in thickness to it. See? Add in some little bit of thickness to it so that this gets that sword tip and then just complete the shape. That's it, just complete the shape. I'll tell you more about the, you know, the detailing and this we'll do with pen. How to make it bulkier, add the bulk of the shape. That's it. If you make it bulky, you can add the thickness of the shoulders. Like I said, make the shoulder round bulkier, make this muscle bigger, make the chest muscle, make this width bigger. Basically to make a body bulkier, you have to make the, get this V shape, you have to get this, B -sibute. You have to get this B -sibute. So on this, this lat, these muscles are called lats, the back muscles. Basically in a body, you have these muscles and you have the shoulders. This is your chest. Let's say this is the face. You have these three muscles. Mm -hmm. This is your face, the traps, the shoulders, the lats. This adds frame. This is what adds frame. From the front, this muscle called the chest. This adds that bulk from the front. You have to focus on these three areas if you want to make a body bulky. Okay. Same goes for same goes for fitness as well. When the gym and bodybuilding, you can do it. I'm a huge fitness enthusiast. That's why I talk with such enthusiasm about muscles. So now that this is ready, see you add the little bit of thickness for the shape, and you can just complete the sword with this line that goes like this. See this line that cuts? That's a shorter sword and shape. Give you a couple of minutes to just catch up, bring any corrections that you want, because in just a while we are going to add the inking and the details. We're going to add the inking and the details. I want you to catch up on everything, bring any, draw the entire pencil shape, bring any corrections that you want, because once now we make a line with pen, it is set in stone.
it is settled. So once you make a line of pencil, it is it is set and there is nothing you can do about it. So just take a couple of minutes, bring these, I'll wait for you. And once you've done this, please comment in. Uh, I have, I H A V, I have, I H A V E also, if you want, you can type again. That means you've done it. So I'll wait for many of you. You can watch, you can refer both the images. I've already given all the instructions that you need. Now you can complete this. Okay, ready? So I can see many of you have now caught up. You are all ready. Are you now confident to start inking? Let's start inking this, guys. Let's start inking this. Okay, let's start inking this. So as far as the inking is concerned, you don't need any fancy pens. You can use a gel pen if you want. I'm using a fine liner, which is you know, a drawing pen, but if you don't have this also, it's okay. No Farooq meeting with recording can only be sent for the platinum members, which is our community members. So here, this, you, if you don't have a fine line up and you can use a gel pen, you can use a, you know, you can use a fountain pen, anything, but basically requirement, understand the requirement, guys. The requirement is that it has to have a smooth flowing pen. Smooth flowing, that's it. Okay, so I don't want you to use a pen where you have to keep scratching again and again and again to get a line. Use a pen that is has smooth flowing, but it should not be very thick. Don't use a sketch pen because then it will be too thick and you will not be able to do details. Use a pen, you a regular gel pen is works fine, but if you have these fine liner pens, you can do any colors, my friend. Any colors black, blue, red, green purple, pink, color is anything. Obtain is obtain purple. Just ensure that the ink is working, working smoothly. Okay? Not necessarily. I mean, it can, ball pen I would not recommend because ball pens are typically, you know, uh, you will not get the sharp line. But if you have no other choice, go ahead with ball pen. What else to say? Okay? You should be able to handle whatever pen you're using. Ensure it has a smooth flowing ink and it is not too thick. That's it. Smooth flowing ink, not very thick. That is the only condition. Colors, no problem. Anything is. You can use a micron. If you have a micron, you can use a point one pen. So now I'll tell you what to do with pen. You're going to now follow the step-by-step -step instructions as I detail. I'm going to zoom in closely to each of the parts so you can see clearly. And like how I draw, you are going to copy it step-by-step, -step, okay? Uh, zero 03 might be thick, but I don't know. Like it depends on if you can handle. I'm using a zero 01 micron. See, it depends on if you can handle it. First, this shape of the helmet. I mean, the shape of the crown. Why, why, why do I keep saying helmet? Blue is fine. Any color is fine. Colors are not a problem. First, see, it's like a slight V shape. A slight V shape. That is the shape of the crown. Number one. Number two. Over this, you can add these shapes that goes inside. You see like these small drop-like shapes. Just draw inside these small drop-like shapes you can draw. 
and you can complete the top portion of the crown with lines that go around it like an oval please follow me carefully and you can fill fill in with a few patterns and lines now outside of this you have this shape so you can draw this fire like shape like i have drawn or if you want to do your own design who am i to stop you see you can draw this fire like shape it does not have to be perfect you don't have to exactly replicate what i'm doing remember that the core part of what i wanted to explain in the session is done i wanted to answer this i'm just dropping a poll right here Do you think using these techniques, using the same principle that we just done, by just bringing a few surface differences on the body, the legs, and this, you'll be able to create who who you want? You see the possibility. See whether you can do, whether you have the skill or not, whether you have the practice. That is a different question. The possibility is there that this works as a template for drawing anyone. Correct. So why not use up your creativity, guys? Ninety-nine percentage of you answered that it is possible. So the question was: Does this work as a template to draw any person? So now inside this, you can come up with your innovations. Why not? So, but if you want to follow exactly what I'm doing, no problem. So you can just add the shape here, and here there is this hair that is coming down, right? You can just add the shape for the hair. And this that is going here. See, you can fill it with your own part. Things are that's that's what I asked. So now here, you can complete the shape for the head. Notice he has a slight pointy jaw, a well well shaped jawline. So you can just complete the shape for the face. We are not doing the details inside the face and the eyes and stuff now. We'll I'm going to show you that we'll do that together in the very end. Until you build your confidence with pen, with pen it can often get a little intimidating and challenging. But that's why we did exactly the new pen. Basically, now what you're doing is over what you have drawn with pencil, over that exactly over that you're now drawing with pen, filling with pen. That's easy. The same exact thing you're filling with pen, with adding a few details of of your own. See now I'm adding the shoulders. So now this can be any god. Any god, any warrior, but over the pencil lines, you have to be very clear. That's why I asked earlier. Also, you have to be very clear on what is the pencil line you have drawn, and you are drawing over that pencil line to be on to be precise. Okay, let's go in a second to the to the side so you can see clearly. See, now this is for the armor. Notice I'm adding this small. Design to the side, to the left and the right side. You can complete the armor. We'll add the details inside the armor later. But just complete the shape outside. Complete the shape outside, and you can draw this. Okay. Draw this belt. Exactly over the pencil line that you're drawn, you're just going to draw this. You can draw this belt. You can complete the sword. See, carefully with pen. When you're drawing with pen, always remember that. So now we are almost there. Okay, you see, it's a step by step. Slowly. Now after this, we are doing the detail. A few finishing touches, and we are done. If you're drawing with Pencil, you can more or less pull like this. You can just you know just pull like this, 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 and you can draw. But with pen, if you do like that, it's going to look very scribbly. It's going to look very scratchy. But with pen, what you have to do is your lines has to be smooth. See, every line that you're drawing, it has to have that smooth. Yes, yeah. See. Every line you're making, don't 
scratch like this, but try drawing it continuous. Let's say you're adding the helmet. See, you're making it continuous, right? <laughs> you can create any one you want like that. You can just complete the sword over what you're drawn. Notice how my line is going continuous and smooth and it's coming here. It's coming here and you can pull this to the side and you can complete it. Slowly as you're doing, let go of your stress. Relax into the lines. So there is this emblem below the belt and so just starting a small circle here. Below this, you can pull this line, see? Pull this line, let it come here. Pull this line here. <laughs> Similarly, you can pull this line here. See, over the pencil lines, guys, just over what you're drawn with pencil, just draw with pen, that's it. Notice how around the clothing, I'm just making a deliberate little crooked anchor because that's how the clothing is. See, when you're drawing the, when you're drawing the structure, you're drawing very, very clear lines. But here you can just fill it with a little fluidic lines, you know, just a fluidic movement and you can get that. Can get that fluidic moment. Then let's do the for the arms. Very good question, Swara. Uh, as far as this, we'll be mostly shading these. We'll be shading these and it's not very clear, even in this one, even in this, but there is no harm in just filling this, just drawing this, just representing this feet here. There's no harm in that. Like, you know, just a rough way of showing it. Now over this arm that we are done, you can complete this. You can do this. See? Now when you draw with pen line, the hook, the shape, everything becomes clear. Everything that you had previously done will become obvious and clear. Okay. Let's add in a few more additional details now that this is done. We can draw this, we can complete this emblem here. You can create your own emblem. I mean, if you don't like this emblem and you want to create your own, you can do it. I personally don't like this emblem, so I'm just creating a no a Shaktiman like symbol I'm creating instead because I think this just I just like this. See, over the right now, what you have to do is over the pencil line, just complete it. Now we are going into the now we are going into this.
now you're going on to the emblem so you can create your own outer shapes if you you can add this star and emblem coming out here notice how the how this flows and how this goes you can add the shapes you notice how it's radiating outwards here one line curved and then another line thin and curved pulling from the side <coughs> so we'll move on to the leg and then here as well see over this you can show this chest this region pull out few lines from here and then here in the middle there are these designs which you can show create your own design guys i mean you don't have to i'm, I'm just showing you an input of possibility what is what is there but you can basically create your own see <coughs> So now I'm pulling these lines out, just radiating it out. We can add a few hatches into it and a few little bit of shading. I will quickly explain how to do hatching and shading into it. Have you all seen a technique of cross hatching and hatching? In that basically, you're just using lines or strokes to fill. With pencil, you can keep shading like this and you can get it. But at the same time, with pen, you can't do this. If you do this, what happens? You just blacken out. But on the other hand, if you put strokes with pens like this, where one line after another, you're putting parallel lines, then you see, eventually it looks like shade. One after another, you're drawing parallel lines. And guys, don't forget to hydrate. You know, I, since I drank some water, don't forget to hydrate. Don't forget to hydrate. And then here, just inside this, notice how I'm just filling these lines. See, you can just follow the same direction and you can put these lines if you're doing this design. Notice how it, this side I'm using this direction. Here, there are different techniques of hatching. What we're doing now is a very basic style and a version of it, but there are so many different versions of hatching. See inside this also you can just fill inside each one of these you can fill it. Inside each one of these you can fill it with pick a direction and just fill it. So why horizontal why vertical it depends on the effect you want to create. Let's say you want to show something that is going down use a vertical. If you want to show something that's lying, lying down use horizontal. And you can just put a few hats like this and shade. This way. Coming on to the leg, I hope you have all been able to do the shape and this coming here. For the belt, I'm just putting these few horizontal lines. See, like I told you, the belt is horizontal. Just inside this fill a few lines, just a few lines here. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. It's amazing, Trisha. Glad to see you come back again. Glad to see you come back again. Now here, inside the suit, there are a few designs. So you can, you know, just leave a little bit of gap and make a print, you know, whatever design you want. Remaining area, notice the direction in which I am putting my pen lines. This is the direction of the suit, that exact direction, you're putting few parallel lines and strokes and that becomes your hats, you see. Nice, easy hats, everything. Easy, right? The hatching technique, the hatching and the the hatching technique. Cross hatching is when over this, you're just adding another uh, layer of lines, but I'm not moving into cross hatching now. It will take a little while for you to understand and practice. But, you know, you can just add another layer of strokes over this and then it, it becomes cross hatching. It's basically the same thing that you're doing with an extra touch. For now, you can just do hatching. Okay. So the pencil lines, 
will be erased. We'll erase it together in the end. Right now, I wanted to focus on the inking. Like, and after that, we can erase in the end, and that is a whole thing. Okay, let's add a little details on this arms before we go down to the legs. So notice the shape for this thing. It's like this exact shape. We can add that exact shape. See, on either of this. Okay. Please stay with me, PC. As we draw the arms, do the arms. Then we'll move the feet. And for this arms, you can just shape because see, he's wearing gloves, right? So you can just do diagonal hatching inside this and suddenly you can see that this can get a shape. You can do the same for the other arm or if you want to leave it like how it is here, you can do that also. Just shade slightly diagonal lines and then, you know, you get this shaded effect. How can I define the bicep on the upper arm? We'll get that. Okay. We'll get that. So now here, now that this is done, I'm going to move on to the dhoti. And this is very easy, guys. So I'm going to show the legs and the feet. Now I hope you have all done the arms and this part. If not, you can just add, you know, you want to add a few lines and this here. See, just design. It is your design. I mean, basically, it's your design. So you're doing what you want. Get your creative juices flowing. Now here. With this leg, you can shade this with continuous, slightly curved diagonal strokes. See, and you will see that you are getting this effect slightly curved, continuous diagonal stroke. You can fill that. Same thing for the other side. I'm not particularly defining the clothing and the folds and everything. We will do a little bit of touch-ups on it. I'm not going to completely ignore it also. We'll do a little bit of touch-ups, but for now you can just follow this pattern like how I'm doing. Slightly curved diagonal strokes that you just put in close succession. Now change the angle to the same thing. See? Let me just repeat. This, you first did this. Change the angle and again do. This is cross hatching. Okay. Just repeat the same thing. Slightly alter the angle. That's it, guys. And now you have this. Just add in more lines inside this sand. Now you'll get a very dark look. You get a very dark look. Just adding lines like that, you get a very dark look. See? You can get more darker effects inside this by simply darkening the edges, just adding more lines inside this, just add more lines in different directions. And you'll get a darker effect. And just changing the direction. Like just try around how you're changing the direction. Play around with the lines and see if you get a darker line like that. Please do not scribble. Put deliberate lines. Okay, put it like this. Deliberate lines. Please do not scribble. Okay. As far as the feet is concerned, I can't clearly see it. So this outer shape that you have done, the shade inside that also. For now, we'll do this for the feet. Because, of course, the feet also requires details and work. And, you know, it can often get very complex and overwhelming when you're starting out. So you can just shade it like this and you can complete it. You can it. So then that is, see, the thing is that that depends a lot on the practice also. Like when you draw the initial shape, even if you get the length correct, the width also has to matter, right, Mithila? So maybe if you're not getting the width correct, 
let's put a little bit of background into this. So just add this lines coming here. Just a few lines. We're just drawing horizontal. Just a few horizontal lines, and we'll add a context, background context. See, just a few horizontal lines. Just put fill this and we'll create a background context. Few horizontal. You can show vertical lines here to show this design. This very quick work is just doing in a few seconds. It's just a few seconds. We are now at the final stage of the drawing where we'll define the face and a few of the arms. So someone had asked me about the arm muscles. If you want to define the arms muscles, we can do that. See, just define these lines. Show you have to have a knowledge about the muscle structure, the insertions. And here you can insert one line here like this. You can add another line here like this. If you want to quickly show, you can just put a few lines inside like this and it will show the arms. It will show that the muscles are more, you know, lean and developed here. Rina just shaded the feet, that's it. For now, you're just shading the feet. See, just like this, how it's coming. This is the shape that you've drawn, right? Initially, the shape. Inside that, you're just shading the feet, that's it. Like how you did for the arms, you shade the feet. For the arms, you made a hook. For the feet, you can draw this, you know, you can draw the shape like this, or you can take it a little pointy towards the side and you can make it come that way. That is for the feet. Finally, let's do the face. For the detailed face, obviously, I will not be able to explain every bit of detail about the face because you understood just the drawing the body as a basic, it takes time. But I will give you a few quick tips which you can use to draw the face clearly. And I want you to pay very close attention to me. Okay. You have a you can draw a line at the center with a pencil. This will be the center of the face. You can draw another line horizontal close to the top of the helmet, that will be your eyes. See, follow these instructions very carefully. One line vertical, cutting the center, that will be the center. One line horizontal, slightly above the top, that will be the eyes. Okay. Now, now, very carefully, I want you to take a pen and above this eyes, I want you to just add these two lines, they look like eyebrows. Add a line at the center. What is it looking like? Nose. You can add a line at the center, looking like nose. You can draw the mustache slightly towards the bottom of the face. Add the beard. You can add the Thickness for the beard. See that? Just using the pen, you can add the thickness for the beard. You can even shade it here so you can get that. Stack the stick and the thickness and this one. For the mouth, draw a single line below the mustache. That's it. One small line below the mustache that becomes a mouth. I hope you're all able to, you're all following with me. Just draw a vertical line because nose in depth is a, becomes a rather complicated process. I know there is a lot to uh, learn for that, but on a fundamental level, just draw this. You can draw a single horizontal line for this and below it, you can just shade it looking like, you know, you can give it whatever beard style you want. I hope you've drawn the eyebrows earlier. Because below this, you can add, you can add these two dots, and they become eyes. That's it. Just add these two dots, and they become eyes. Because if you start detailing the eyes and start drawing everything, it becomes, you know, uh, rather too extremely tedious. But you can get that rage expression very easily by drawing the eyebrows pointed this way. He's walking in rage. 
So you can pull this eyebrows a little more towards this. You can keep it slanting like this and you can even increase this to get that look. See that anger look you can get. Like with the facial expression, if you're drawing facial expression, if you keep the eyes like this, then this is anger. Correct? You do the same thing, change the eyebrows. What does this look like? Sad. If you want to draw this, this is what poker face, neutral. So this, by changing the eyebrows, you can get the expression. So for the exact details and the proportions of the face, I'll just explain to you in a quick five minutes how the exact proportions of the face is going to come. But remember that I'm just doing this as an additional information to show you what's out there. And you can see this. So if you're drawing the face, say this is the shape of the face. You have the center line. You have the center line. This is where the eyes is coming. The center, the eyes are going to be the center of the face. Nose is going to be midway between the eyes and the chin. Mouth is going to be midway between the nose and the chin. And then the gap between two eyes is going to be that of one eye. The nose comes like a triangle like, and a ball. So there is a ball for the nose. There is a triangle for this. The ears start at the level of the eyebrows, ends at the level of the nose. See? That's a very quick uh, study of proportion of the face, of course. Then the eyes, there is a technique for drawing the eyes. There is a technique for drawing precise. You know, there is a technique for drawing everything. But this is it. You can complete, you can add a few final touches onto it. You can add the shape here. You can add this here. You can add this. You can make this, you know, you can. Make this come here, circles, yes. So we are not here in this phase, we are not adding the nostrils. Vertical line for the nose, you are creating expression with eyebrows, two dots for the eyes. You can highlight the moustache and the beard. Even if you don't draw the lips, it's okay. If you just draw the beard and the moustache, it will look fine. Actually. Just draw the moustache and make the beard, moustache and beard realistic. If you want to add in more beard, why not? You can do that also. Okay. Add a few final touches. You can do anything that you want. You can, you know, of course, shade and add any extra shade to any places that you want. Inside this, you know, you can just add a little bit of thickness and shade and any final touches that you want. And once you're done and you're clear on everything that you've done, simply trace. Simply this the pencil lines because it's the most satisfactory part. Once you erase the pencil lines, and you can clearly see for yourself. So now you can look at your own drawing and you can correct what is needed, what is this, and you can. Once the pencil marks are erased, you can clearly see, you know, how has it come along, what is there. But let's okay. take a picture. Let's let's do them. This is my favorite part of the process. Let's add a sign. Guys, take ownership. Wow. You, know, you came here on a fine Sunday morning. And you spent with me. He looks like the other person in Bhavan. Palwal Devan. Palwal Devan. It's a small change in face shape and uh, can I show up my Bahu also? Yes, please, yes. please. Guys, but don't leave yet. I have promised you about a free guides, cross in book. That will be there only for those who stay with me till the end. So I don't want leave to show it. my Bahu also. Yes, this has yes. been done 
it's complete guidance of niranjan i am so proud of it because like you know my human figures used to look like this this is my standard of human figures i i am more of a sketch noter this is what i usually draw this is what is my level it's still it's still, still cute it's cute but i could never think of drawing beyond this and then last week before adi purush was released he helped me draw look at this this is why how human figures used to look and now my human figures have got so much better because of you don't you guys all feel it will any one of you now say that i can't draw where did it go where did it yes to yes. see niranjan can make absolutely anyone draw and if you can practice a little bit if you just yeah, give it again you can draw sorry it's all a game of practice so show all your drawings let's take a picture let's take a picture with all of your drawings show all these bahubalis don't leave yet Don't leave. You will be in a hurry that you want to have. Yeah, we have so much, have so to, much offer to offer you. So much to offer you. Tell you right now. Don't Why leave. would you want to leave? Superb. Wow! Wow! I'll take a screenshot. No. Superb, Ruchika, Kavita, beautiful. Even the kids Amazing. have been able to draw. Lovely. Bhavna, Sorina, Trisha. Are you all not proud? Sir? Arun, can you hold it a little forward? If you want, if you want to change the drawing a little, you can draw Hanuman. If you want to change the drawing a little bit, change the poster. You can draw Jesus. You can draw anyone you want using this. You just yes. put in a little feature; it will become Ranveer saying it. Will, ah. If your face is not coming well, just put a COVID mask on it. That is my hat. <laughs> just put a COVID mask on him and say, "This is Bahubali from COVID." Bahubali, two thousand pin. Wow, Swara, Rajiv, keep take a picture. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Bindu, Bindu, it's so nice. Bindu was complaining in the group that it's not nice. Come out so well, Alaka. Very nice. Super, she is beautiful. So, how to draw more? What to draw more? We will share with you in exactly one minute. Yes. Till that, hydrate yourself. This is what we could do. And look at look this. Look at this. In just an hour and a half, we created this beautiful. And this is Bahubali, not Adi Purush. Okay, a disclaimer: we don't yes. support that movie. Just hydrate. Just hydrate. I want you all to hydrate, drink water because you all did some amazing work. We will also you be all... answering your queries at the end of this. Just give a. Uh, but before that, we are going to solve a burning question: How, How can, can I, I draw more? How can I learn? More? How can I learn? Do you want to learn more? No, 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 no. First, let me ask them. Do you guys want to learn more? Let's drop a chat. Uh, let's drop a poll. Only if they want to learn more will we start. No. Yes. How, How many, many of you here? want to learn more drawings? How many of you here it's want clear. to want to learn more? How many of you want to learn one particularly? How many of you want to learn more with? Maybe you want to make this girl. By the way, most of you will have got confidence to draw her now. But what if you want to take this journey further? You want to draw, you know, somebody fighting in a fighting scene. Somebody sitting. Somebody sleeping, dancing. Sleeping is very easy. <laughs> Just lie down. But maybe you want to draw women, goddesses. This part is for everyone who wants to learn more and who wants to learn more. And of course, we'll be sharing some magical guides with you also. So now here, let's. So many yes, yes, so yes. Muscles, advanced structures like muscles, structures. advanced structures. See, today we are constrained because it's only one class. There is a limitation to how much we tell. Many of you are beginners. Many of you do it. So today you have gone. Let me say even, step one. Today you have done. There is a. Because even when we had. We are doing the basics. Many of you had troubles, and I had to keep explaining again and again. And I hope that I was patient enough to listen, answer your doubts, and you know, go. I don't do this. This is like right. Yeah. So I had shared in the beginning that we are a Zenjin. Then this is my drawing level. Usually, it is only Niranjan who can make me draw this well. So we started with a journey and a dream to make things come true. To make dreams like this come true. just like this you too can learn to take your memories the most precious of your memories do it there in the end ranjan will you show us your notebook of memories your life book 
100%. You can put, capture all your memories in the best way possible, and that is what the Zen Gym is about. It's like a gym for your brain muscles where we teach everything. So now in this class, we did a one session. We did one single session. Somebody was asking about muscles and all this. We are giving you an opportunity to join us for a longer program, a one month, month master long class. This one month master class, we will be having live master classes every week. You are going to get my support. You're going to get my mentorship. Right now, for today's session, I could not exactly look into every part of every one of you, but you get an opportunity for that. You get access to hundreds of tutorials, lessons, and so much more. This workshop, this so right now it is a single drawing and. You all must be clear. You all must have understood that this is just the tip of the iceberg. And and don't worry if you think that oh Niranjan can draw this, but can I draw this? Yeah. I'll just show you in a minute how students have completely been able to do this. Okay. Yes. So we are going to start today. We did a lot of basics. We learned how to make the skeleton of this, but we will be introducing you to some master techniques. Hatching, you did a little bit. But how to get in? So you will see all of these are very detailed. Detail, yes. Textures are there. All of this you need these techniques: hatching, cross hatching, contour hatching. All of this will be taught. Now let's have a look at what you can do. These are from our previous master classes. Complete beginners who would come and say, "Hey, Niranjan, I, I can't, can't do it. I am just a homemaker." They have been able to create these wonderful results. So let's have a look at these. Tony, fitness enthusiast. See, look at this. From the first day one, this is from the making drawings like this. He's been able to create them. And guess how much time he did? Just type in the chat box how much time. What it do you think it in. would have taken? How much time do you think it can take for somebody to get there? Let's have a look at the chat box. One one month, month is the most common answer. One month, one month, guys. Years. Okay. Someone is like three hours. I'm glad you have the confidence in me. I I could teach you this in a single sitting. If we start, I could teach this in years. But in a master class, he did this in a matter of less than two weeks, guys. Two weeks was the time that it took for this transformation from here to here. Look and at this, file shot, doctor. And this is just a few of the stories that we have come across. You will not just learn how to draw human figures. You will learn textures, textures. expressions. You will learn how to make your favorite anime characters, real life characters. You will be able to make Buddha, gods, goddesses. You just have to tell what do you want to draw. Quickly tell me in the chat which human figure have you always wanted to draw. It could be your parents. It could be you know the role model. Padukone. It could be Sadhguru. Who have you always wanted to draw in the? Tell me in the chat box your aspiration. My baby, your parents. Who is it? Tintin. Wow. Tintin. Me myself. I love that. Anime. MS Dhoni sir. <laughs> right. These are some of the works that are done all by students. So, let me tell you, you can do it. These are not works by Niranjan, but they are by students. And in less than two weeks, less than three weeks, you have to do it. See, you have to understand here: art is not rocket science. There is just a certain algorithm to it. There is a certain mechanism to it, and you get it there and you do it. In uh, many of you must have been in childhood, not been able to draw, not been able to do it. That's because the technique wasn't right. With the right technique, you can absolutely aspire. By the way, Messi, Krishna, all of these you are saying we have already covered in our classes, and the recordings are also available. This is my greatest gift. It's my greatest gift to see all the happy faces of all these people creating the beautiful works. The blessing that okay. I get from every day. So whatever your age, whatever your profession, you will have to give us say one hour every day. For the next month, maybe not even one hour, half an hour every day for the next month, and you can do this. Yes. So in this master class, we'll be learning in detail about postures. We did a single posture, but what about yoga postures? What about jumping? What about acrobatics? The muscles. We will explore the muscles in detail. We learn about fingers, hands. We spoke. We are earlier saw about how fingers are complex. Postures, actions, facial expressions, every single aspect of it. Will be covered in this. How many of you here are keen on learning all this? Comment in I in the chat box. I. Are we as a big I in our hand? Yes. That's yes. the spirit. That's the spirit, right? Okay. I'm... So this welcome to Soul Flow's figure drawing masterclass. 
Okay, by the way, all of you are platinum members. That is all the existing members in the community. This is co absolutely co uh, complimentary for you. You don't have to register for this again. The urban sketching ones who are with us for the last month, you will have to register for this. Yes. It is a separate thing. Okay. So in this, in this one week, we already talked about all this, but we'll go into detail. Like I already thought you about seven and a half proportion anatomy. We we'll learn in detail about all these things. We we'll learn about stick figure technique, postures, all these different, different approaches. Week one of the master class. By the end of week one, you will be able to create all these different postures. The session timings are going to be that we'll be having a master class on a Sunday. We'll be starting from July 16, and then we'll have a live master class on a Sunday. Today's session was from 10 to 1. But this master class will be starting at 11 and then we'll be going on till 4 p.m. I'll of course give you a lunch break. I'll give you a lunch break from 1 to 2 p.m. But apart from that, we will go live. And don't worry, recordings will be shared. Re complete recordings will be shared. And the reason why we have kept it a little far from now is so that you can plan your Sundays in advance. Yes. If you have to go somewhere, you can tell them, no, I am working on myself for this week. I am going to build myself on this week. So how, one day you have to be. How many of you are excited at the whole aspect, the whole prospect of spending a Sunday learning? Are we look at Arby's hand. He's like, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Comment in X. So dynamic poses is what we'll cover in the next week. So between them, you don't have to come every day. You will get practice sessions in between. We'll show you the yes. calendar. You will have uh, different workbooks to practice from. You will have a community. And the most important part, which wasn't done in today's class. What do you think is the most important part when you are growing in your art journey? What is the most important part? Pens are important, yes. What is most important? What is it that you can't get in a YouTube class Still or you place. do it? What is it? When you're taking a live class. It is feedback. feedback. Feedback is the breakfast of champions. You need feedback to know where you are going wrong, where you are doing. So Niranjan has a unique method of delivering feedback. He will give you detailed feedback. He will give you a um, space where you can upload your drawings. And before you make more mistakes, Niranjan will share with you how to work or you're showing the folder. Yes, I'm showing you the kind of feedback that you're going to be getting for this. So this is for, we are currently holding an urban sketching masterclass. Many people out of that came. So here in this, here in this, you every there is a folder for all of them to do it. And once you put on the folder, you yes. get, by the way, yes, this is an urban sketching yes. workshop that started one month back. Uh, and, and three weeks back. Three weeks back. And look at the results. Look at the results. People are getting. All this amazing work, all this amazing thing. And you get practice time, you get, practice you get time. all of this for their perspectives, this one. Look at this. Oh, I am very happy with very, what they are doing in practice. Very crazy, right? The so if you still part. think I can't do yes. it, you get a feedback. So when you post something, when you are doing it, you also get comprehensive feedback from Niranjan on Here each of your drawings. Here are three drawings in one point perspective. Let's understand one it. point perspective. And this is the something I feel is so close. It is quality of these feedback because that's how you grow. Level is a horizontal line yeah, that you are placing on the drawing. Okay. So you need to... Drawings let's say in this one the door is here so how tall will a person be a person will be this much as height that you would not get anywhere and you also get a drive to post all these pictures so there you can see in uh what others are doing where you are drawing and this is going to be your repository of drawings so at the end of your journey you'll be able to see how much you have grown from starting to the end see all these and this is from the ongoing urban sketching masterclass. So there for human figures, it will be a similar journey for all of you. Superb. You can already see how many of them are excited. Niranjan, we will just tell you how to register in a while. Then after still figures, you get into somebody said he's a manga artist. So you know that there has to be dynamic poses. How do you capture somebody running? How do you capture somebody cooking? Something in a dynamic thing. How do you make Deepika Padukone? Doing yoga. And that is what my friends will be covering in week two. You'll learn about yoga poses, complex postures. You'll learn about how a person look when they're bending, when they're spinning, when they're turning. 
and all these things will be covering in week 2 how many of you wanted to become a comic artist bachpan se wanted to own your own comics you wanted to illustrate your own day this is where you will be able to get in there design your own comics your own characters you can become a artist on the go and when all of it is done week 3 which you were struggling with today facial, yes, expressions, facial expressions and all we will have a special class on facial expressions and perspective facial expressions fingers how to draw people in perspective right now you're seeing a person who's standing in thing have a look at this view how will you draw a person whom you're seeing like you know that you're seeing from an angle you're seeing from the top you're seeing from the bottom you're seeing from this all the dance mudras expressions facial expressions dance uh, kathakali all these different different things we will be covering in week 3 it's a complete i mean the the program is termed as uh, learn to draw like devin ji so you know why it's called like that the prize i will tell you okay the prize the classes you. will be on sunday the classes will maybe be a few read feedback sessions on the weekdays in between or a practice sessions but otherwise these are all on sundays here is a complete schedule master class 1 will be on july 16th 11 am to 4 pm master class 2 july 23rd third master class july 3rd everything from 11 am to 4 pm we will be having i of course be giving a lunch break in between the entire recordings for every session will be shared and as a bonus in between the sessions we will be having a live feedback session will be once a week i'll tell you the exact time and date but it will be mostly on 8 pm weekday one live feedback session will also be there and also book recordings of more things let's say we learned about post some of you will be like oh my god three sundays i have to give up yes. but imagine of your dream to become an artist your dream childhood dream to do it if today you were to enroll in a masters program or for any degree to do it it will take you so much more so the commitment required from you is three sundays in three weeks i can promise you that we can do because we can so bold in this claim if we, if you are not able to draw by the end of this we will stop taking these classes because we know you can do it in case you missed for example you are like sunday i can only join the first half hmm. second half i have to go to a party or second half i can join recordings will be provided and you will get an entire week in between to catch up entire cool. week in between of course you'll be getting you'll be provided bonus workbook sheets so everything. now a burning question where how much is the price what is the price you tell me how much would you want to price a course like this today we had a workshop for i think 99 rupees but no but before talking about the price and everything i want to tell you about what is included because what is good is about to come is not yet here it's not included it's not we are not finished yet the master class like you said it's we starting from july 16 and in addition we you will also be able to join you will also be able to be part of this you will also be able to part of our platinum zen gym challenge so it's a monthly research challenge where we learn it's a self improvement challenge where we learn about journaling we learn about sketch noting we learn about creating your vision board so we have a beautiful vision board where a we very big dreams. part of art is finding time for it most of you will say when will i practice i don't have time to do it i've always wanted to be an artist but something was holding me back tell me in the chat what has been holding you back there have been youtube tutorials i am sure you get ads like this also do do but something held you back that voice inside you that said you couldn't draw that time management skills all of this we will help you get there art is a form of meditation and this is exactly what we will teach you uh, if we don't teach you how to implement your art or how to find time this is incomplete so you will get access to this special reset course some of you have already been on this program where you do it and you'll do it get there so prabhnut we work 20 we work almost close to 12 hours a week day but yet we find time to do it lazy all of these these are all this this it's all this about the mentality that is what we change we teach you that just by giving one hour which is 4% of an entire day how can you reset yourself right it's a mind blowing course about thousands of people have taken this course and change their life we charge 5000 for that program but you are going to get this along with this master class okay. apart from this you will also get a july reset art planning so if you have to get a new hobby 
you will also have to find time to it you will have to schedule your things you will have to move it we will teach you how to do this we will teach you a unique habit of journaling and art planning where you will be able to find time to get through your goals and i don't need to tell you this there are 100 people who have already got this lots of people then your bonus too this is for the adults out there you need to you know the art art also comes from a place in your body it's very closely related so i take a special class on your chakra meditation and it's become a very big hit where we start in the morning and we help you release your creativity yes you'll be very shocked to hear that creativity is also a physical attribute and you can actually activate your body to get there okay then the third bonus which is actually the most special one of all of them you get access to 100 plus tutorials so maybe you are like hey, i don't want to draw bahubali i want to draw something different you will get all these recordings where you can draw whatever you want to so okay. from harry potter to probably gandhi ji to you know to um, say super heroes everything you will be able to draw with this so let me show you let me show you the look at what is going to come inside so okay what's going to come inside here we charge 25000 for this uh, for this course but you are going to get you are going to get this and so this community support is also a great thing because you will have people who are not just us you will also have other people tell you that what is correct if there so for example dolly here was like i am not making it correct others will be telling you what is the problem where is it so you get a community to share and grow with them and in this community you will find this recordings list which we will have access to hundreds of recordings so right now you learned about one drawing but what if you know how many of you here are fans of harry potter so you can get the entire access to playlist of harry potter drawings ancient india so this we did one drawing of bahubali which showed the world of ancient india all these recordings see so many of you have been asking me about can i get recording of this one session can i get recording of this one session guys i'm giving you an opportunity to get access to hundreds i mean i If you start seeing now, you'll not be able to complete this on journaling. This every single thing you will be able to get access to okay. it. So this is just the beginning. So this is going to be your third big bonus. I know today also you were, ah, uh, you are ex. You will get a bonus of the cross hatching guide. But just imagine if you could get so many of this. Oh my God! Many people are like, tell me already what to do, where to get to from. I am sharing it to you exactly one minute, so you can register. for our class okay one month master class it's not just a master class in art it's going to be a master class in your entire growth development everything oh many of them are saying i'm a, you will be able to draw an entire harry potter series for yourself don't worry yeah i'll be sharing the hatching guide for this it's a bonus for all of those who stay till the end and trust me you might think like is it possible is it too good we have results right in front of you and i told you guys i am so bold with this we can say that if you are not able to draw that is provided you attended the classes and still you are not able to draw we will stop taking classes yes exactly we will stop taking our classes if you if at the end of this you are not able to draw because i know anybody can draw the abcd module was this itself anybody can draw all of them are discussing their house we are also huge harry potter fans and in fact that's how we met also through our love of harry potter okay so this is you get a repository of recordings that you can draw and you can grow with and of course i told you in the beginning zen gym has access to all of this so all of this comes as a pro you might want to take it you might want not to take it but we are ready to offer to you for this and we keep such close relationships with our Absolutely. community members the reason we did one to one calls with everyone one to one calls with this is day. not a class it's a family we have literally grown to be part of a family with our people we have one to one calls with them we to keep track of their progress these happy faces will tell you and and the last is when you go through this entire journey when you are building yourself you will get a certificate as well from us 
So you can show off to your friends that I am an artist now. I am this. This will give you a huge boost. Okay. This is the calendar. For this, as you can see, you have uh, three of this. You can take a screenshot of this. Otherwise, we'll share the calendar with you. This is going to be your calendar for it. And lives. Like I told you, feedback is a breakfast of champions. We get an entire feedback. My first attention. This has more bonuses than Diwali. Okay. So all of this. All of this comes out. If you are good at maths, you must have already calculated. It is close to 55,000. 55,000, right? All of this combined is coming close to 55,000. But guys, this, I know it's a big amount. So I, for everyone, I give it as a platinum offer to 18,000. I give it as a platinum offer. Everything combined and we do it at 18,000. And this is your price. But yet, but yet, wait for me. How many of you here want to want an offer, want a special offer with me? Yeah, you want to like a discount, please, offer. please, sir. Yes. Many people saw the price and ran away. You're going to miss out a very you're special gonna, announcement. You're going to miss out a very, very special announcement. This is only for those who stayed with me till the end, like I told you. This is only for those who are staying with me till the end. And you are going to get something crazy, okay? So, for everyone who joined in, who, everyone who joined in, stayed with me till the end, who took the entire course, and now, for the first 25 people who are ready to take action, for the first 25 people who are ready to take action for joining in, I am doing something absolutely crazy. I am offering this entire course to you. Let me share with you. Niranjan, can you share this link with them also till then? Yes. So you have, you can offer, put this. So this is the learning. You can share the link with them. As you can see, this is for 18,000. This entire course, all the details that you need will be here. But we are going to do something insane right now. For all those who were honest, who would stay till there. And I know you want to draw. Yes. We started with 350 people and 152 are there, which means you want to stay here. You want to do it. I am going to give you a special discount right in front of you itself. Can you share the link till then, Niranjan? So right now, for all of you who are taking this action, we are doing this entire course to you at just rupees 4,000. So I'm changing it right in front of you, but it is applicable only to the 25 people. So please, please make a registration fast. Can you please drop the link? Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. The special course that was for 18,000 in front of you, I've changed it to 4,000. And this is an automatic algorithm. So the second you, the second you, what do you say? Click on it. It will, uh, the second 25 people are over. It will revert its price and it will become 25,000 again. I have shared the link right now with you in the WhatsApp group. And as we speak, it will also be shared to you individually. But for the, you will see that the price is 18,000 in the first page. But then when you click on it, you will see that it is only 4,000 plus taxes. So see if you can, if you can get it, you'll be able to see it. Bhumika, for this one class, you don't because I believe that one class is not that big. But when you will complete a one month, you will absolutely get a certificate for this. So some of you are like, I want to draw only this. You will have to go through the steps, right? Even if you just want to draw a superhero, you will have to learn how to make clothes. You will have to learn how to make expressions. So it is absolutely up to you what you want to draw. But the steps will be, we have to show you the entire steps. Oh, three registrations have already come. It's showing 18K. Just give me one minute. It's showing. I will just try from my end. I think it should show up to do the published thing once again. It's already live. So you will I see that it is. Just a, try again. Just try again. You have to click on the link. Only then you'll be able to see. Ah, click on the link. The, the price will be 18,000. 
but this is a secret prize we are offering for you for the limited time so it's only that you will be able to see when you click on it the prize let's see the registrations have already come in i'll allow you all the chance to unmute and you can ask your questions you will naturally have questions so you all can unmute and you can ask your questions you can ask your doubts so, anything yes please so we have a question how do we register like the, so the link have you seen the link that i've shared in the whatsapp yes sir i have seen the link it oh, is 4000 so you it just click on the link and you can make the payment that's yes. it so it shows a uh, register now rupees uh, 18000 ha so click on that you will see the price of 4000 you will pay 4000 rupees Okay, let me change the price. This is because uh -huh. others, if they, if you don't join this workshop, you would have to pay eighteen thousand. It's only for the special people who is there. Who are you getting? So, I have changed it. You will see that so, four thousand strike off eighteen thousand right now. You will so see. I will, sorry, so, sorry. will this be like online session or will these be live sessions? What do you think? Yes. So now I see it. I see it. What do you think? Is going to be online or is going to be live often? The Sundays one are live, but I don't know if this. It's is... all going to be online. It's all going to be online. I live in Kochi, right? And no, have... wait, wait. What do you mean by live and online? I think you are meaning recording and live. These huh. are all going to be live sessions. So they'll be on the Sundays, like weekends or other days. Sunday weekends. I'll just share the timing schedule with you once more. The feedback sessions will be on this. But others, I all I think there are seven registrations already. already. This is going to seats are going to get filled very fast. I'll just show you the schedule. The schedule will be these Sundays. You will have to give to us. And apart from that, middle of the week we'll have a small review session. Recordings available for everything. So see the 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 schedule of the session is that we'll be having it on Sunday, sixteenth, twenty third, and thirtieth, eleven to four master class. Everything is will be live, and then recordings. Recording will also be shared. Between on a weekday, we'll be having feedback session that I announce as per the thing, and you will see. Okay. That's so regarding the Sunday, uh, just a question. Uh, I will not. I will. I'm traveling on uh, July sixteenth. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to attend the entire session. So you can catch up with the recording. We will be anyway sharing the recording with you. you. Can catch up with that. I I would have really wanted you to attend live, but if you want to join in, because see, I hold a new master class every month, and previous month it was urban sketching. This time it's figure drawing. Next month is going to be something else. So you know the. Don't have to worry. You can watch the live, and many people are you know have different shift timings, and also catch up with the recording. Catch up. Now that you know us, you'll be able to get through it. Uh, yeah. by the way, Srinivas, uh, Rina, uh, Sarang, Kirti, I've got your registration. There are five more registrations that are coming. I'm not able to see them, but I'll just confirm you know why. So twelve seats are done. You can ask for other doubts if you have. You can ask for your doubts. One of the most commonly asked question Check is the... that what all will I get the WhatsApp link on the master class on the phone? Yes. Once you register, you will see you are immediately directed into a group. Immediately, Rajesh. for a group okay no malika human drawing is for 4000 as well urban sketching is a workshop that's already done you cannot participate in there and niranjan has shared the it is shared in the uh, group okay. also you will see that the price is now 4000 strike off 18000 strike off to 4000 okay okay nitya this is an investment you are making yes. that's all i would say uh even if like it's an investment you are putting into it it will just give you a more thing and um, i i like if you want to change if you want to get into there you'll be able to do this there is no emi available no for EMI. this program when if you want to take an emi program then we when we offer 18000 that's where we give you for but not for this not for this for yeah. this no emi option Like the that we don't offer a padlet anymore. The things have changed. Systems have changed now. You are coming after a very long time now. Good to see you back, Siddharth. Good to see you back. Yeah, uh, Ali. Hello, sir. Hmm. Yes. I had a question, like another one. I was just curious, like 
I discussed with my father. I was just asking him yeah. uh, that should I do this? So now, sir, so I had a question. Uh, I'm finding the interest in this, uh, but the thing is, in the price, uh, it shows four thousand right now. I have the app open right now. So, so is this like a limited time offer, or is is, is this gonna be? Twenty five people you registered. First of all, tell me why do you want to join this? Because I want to uh, learn how to do art. So like, I don't really know how to do art that well and i really want to do art to why like, why do you want to do art is it like a hobby or do you have an end goal in mind what is it that is making you want to do art hey like it's like a hobby and something i really want to like draw my favorite anime i want to make a book like comic book and like all of that how old are you i'm 11 so sorted people are at 11 so we really? work with i especially work with two 10 year olds who came at the before the summer vacations one month back with this same wish that i want to make learn i want to learn how to make comic books and they were making their it, it is not like they were not doing it before they would see thor they would make their own thing let me show to you what has been their progress so far and how they have been able to do this they are not loading here Just give me one second but they are able to draw full fledged show them they have been able to draw full fledged comic hero books and yesterday we were just talking about their next comic book we worked on their character development all of this and they are ready to bring out their own this so we they started off by making very simple simple drawings we, we i helped them i worked with them personally i taught them all about perspectives character human figure drawing every single thing and now after this they are creating their own comic that is the final task imagine they are two 10 year olds who are creating their own comic just look at his work right now he's able to recreate these these are 10 year olds these are there and it's only been happened in one month now that look at this perspective, this perspective from batman perspective from this human figures oh my this is like so amazing so you can yes. make your own anime characters you can design all of this look at this i had given him a prompt that you have to make a superhero something to do with an animal so he decided that he's going to do this with muscles and proper they are able to do this and it's created by them you know i didn't give them a reference and i was and we started with simple things and he used to make i wish the loadings would have got uploaded i would have shown you the previous drawings but this is what you can achieve in it so it's a complete journey anyone else who wants to understand why they should what will they be able to yes, draw and yes, all yes, these the question the link has been shared uh, let's share the link in the chat uh, i'm also. sorry i'm selvi singh uh, yes, sir, sir uh, i'm uh, not a child i'm an adult i'm a self taught artist right i'm uh, my niche has been uh, abstract and landscape i do very well mm -hmm. but the thing is i've been doing it for the past 12 years mm -hmm. uh, for me one thing which bo always bothers is this portrait thing i just don't ne never felt connected with portraits i go to a uh, lot of trekkings i do a lot of landscapes colors i've been in colors spent mm. tubes and tubes of colors so i understand colors and yeah. all the perspective as far as landscape and abstract is concerned yeah. all right so the one more thing uh, for me uh, now since i i was in i also always had why i have this block of not able to do this portrait or figure whenever you uh -huh. go near it i feel it's very overwhelming whereas yeah. i see people telling it's easy for me it is uh, it easy to draw a landscape or a flowing river or a uh, like swift waterfalls all this uh, now recently i felt i need to do some kind of this architectural landscapes like temple paintings in my landscape i can incorporate that and things like that so um, we, how far it this will help me because i am always i have been seeking experts and try to do something uh, of course you, you have taught today very nicely i was able to do well but the thing is uh, see i can really just show i, I had a bit I of uh, yeah but i had a bit of proportional aspects to it uh, yeah so how it will help me for me In this. So I will tell you the thing is that I'll answer your question. Just one second. Uh, we are close to fifteen registration, so ten seats are left. Please go ahead. Yeah. And by the way, SS, it's going to be much more difficult for you than kids because you'll have to do a lot of unlearning. 
all these kids will start learning from scratch but you have no, to... no, that that i am ready for it uh, yeah so this cross the... hatching hatching all that stuff i have done uh, like kind of this sketching yeah. like, uh, there is a lot now. to understand yeah right. sorry so you have asked your question now let me answer see this session is particularly focused on human figures for what you had asked about the the advanced temples, uh, the temples urban uh, buildings and everything you can be a part of our community which is a platinum community for which you have to pay the full 18000 and then you can get access to all of this but then but then on the other hand even if you still pay only rupees 4000 and join in for the one month you yeah. saw all the repository of recordings right yes. those are there is a specific course on ancient india all right where i it's all about temple drawings temple illustrations object uh, and everything and besides that there are more uh, lessons on architecture structures and everything okay. we are currently doing an urban sketching class that is about buildings sceneries waterfalls that's falls. wonderful yeah that also you'll get access to it and so for you what i would suggest is if you like my style of teaching and you want to join in you yeah. can take this program maybe not attend the human figure watch the recording of the previous classes and you can get feedback Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm open to that. Yeah, uh, my only thing was like uh, this kind of a, not connecting with the. Uh, I understand. <laughs> I understand. So you can choose your thing. You're creating it. Some awesome. So thing. I can always ask for your uh, feedback also in what I do and uh, in the temple or I urban sketching. You will not have to ask for that itself. It will be given to you. Thank you so much. I would like to join. Register me. I'm just going there. My computer is a bit slow. Take me as my one of the fifteen participants yeah. or whatever. Sure, sure. Thank you, Niranjan. Thank you. Yeah. Portraits and human figures are different things. In fact, if you notice here, so many of you here, you wanted to learn about portraits. In this human figure master class, I'll be teaching you a little about portraits. I mean, not portraits in depth. I'll be teaching about how to add facial expressions and everything. But on the other hand, you'll be getting access to these recordings where you will see there is a special. class on portrait mastery this is an entire master class which teaches portraits in depth this is a master class i had done previously you have the complete recordings for that so if it got i yes sorry here. to interrupt uh, unable to make the payment when i try to make the payment a blank screen is appearing i have also sent you the whatsapp or uh, to you what Maybe is it's appearing it's internet just wait for 2 minutes more you will get a message that your payment is not being completed and all you will get there and your yeah. your price would have been saved okay but yes can i show my drawing i did yesterday yeah, yeah sure okay. and by the way all of you please do tag us on instagram for your beautiful drawings we would love to see them so kids for when you're joining in for the master class you get you get access to my classes for as long as you are part of this community part of my learning community and then it is one month you get access for one month if you choose the platinum which is a lifelong access you get lifelong access fair enough now so here wants to tell something Nazi here, I think she's trying to. How was your time. date with Bahubali? Unmute her. Okay, participants can unmute. Uh, how was your date with Bahubali, Nazu? Prabhas. Hello. Yes, you wanted to tell something, Nazu. No, I think she's. If you're saying something, we can't hear you. If you're saying something, uh, we can't hear you. You're on mute. So Nazu is a platinum member, and she joins in for all our classes. We are date journaling, date everything. I can't hear you. You can. You can. Hear me. I don't know the audio. Ah, your voice was breaking up a little bit. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Ah, you can hear me. Yes. 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 What do you want me to say? <laughs> I thought you were saying something. You were oh, not telling now something. Now we understand. Oh no, I was talking to somebody else. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Right. Right. How do you want? Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, so no, I can't uh, talk, and I can tell everyone. What would I tell everyone? I would tell them to just go for the platinum thing because I think it's totally worth it. 
I'm so happy that I've joined you all and I've, my life has changed so much after meeting you all. And everybody is telling me this. They're like, oh God, you've changed so much because I've gone from like being this dull, depressed person. And uh, I just, yeah, I've got my life back. I think that's the to imagine you as dull and depressed. Dull you are anything depressed. but now. No, no. Hello? I didn't yeah. have this Hello? for the longest time. Oh, somebody's yes. talking. Yeah, somebody's somebody saying talking. something. Yes. Hello, yes. Hello? Yeah, hello. Can I say something? We can Asha. hear you. Okay. See, I have got a link. There are three links. So, which one to click on? I'm not understanding. All three links are the same. All three links are the same. So any one link is okay, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, all three links are the same. You'll see the same thing. You'll okay. be to the same uh, web page where it's mentioned 18,000 strike or 4,000. You can complete the payment. So uh, the timing on Sunday is for two hours, right? 11 to? 11 to 4 p.m. Okay. 11, so we'll be having the session from 11 to 12, 1, 1 to 2 three, we'll last break. Then three, from four, three, three, three Sundays, right? Three yeah. Sundays, yes. Okay. That, is, okay. that is the live session. Apart from this, there is the recording, there is live feedback, which we which I'll be getting. Then there are the uh, bonus sessions like the reset challenge, the 5 a.m. meditation classes. All these are also bonuses that you get at a part of it. So keeps to answer your question. That will Do, be on Sundays or any other day? That will be on weekdays. The schedule will be shared with you. If you once you join in, the schedule will be shared. But if I want only for drawing, then because I am then a working only woman. join in for, for drawing. So I have to pay 4,000 for that. Yes. Yes. 4,000 yes. is your art yes. class basic. The other everything is, is a bonus. A bonus is a special yes. gift from us because we think art cannot be done in isolation. You will need growth and development in other areas as yes. well. So okay. teach you register. No, you no are now only an art program member. The platinum membership is for 25,000. So you are only part of this. Oh, Lata Hi. is a friend of Nazu. A friend of yours has joined. Beautiful. Wow. That's very nice, Lata. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's so nice that you're supporting your friend and coming into this. I am so happy that, you know, so much beautiful. Thank you so much, Chitra. Chitra is our... Chitra, are you here? Are you no, here, Nazu's Chitra? friend, Lata. Is. He gets confused. Oh, yes, I'm here. Chitra is here. Chitra is an extremely busy doctor. Now uh, she's, she's still in her scrubs. Yeah, she's yes, but from my end also from a scrub. Chitra she's just joined her. after the last batch, the last Zen boom. What makes you want to come back again and again for the sessions? Uh -huh. Is it to me? Yeah, yeah I'm asking you. What makes you want yeah, to come yeah. back? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, it's like um it means I, I, I've been so stressed and uh, I know that my life is going to be this way, but I, I really wanted to, you know. I don't know. I don't miss. I don't. I'm not into drawing or art or anything. I used to do it when I was a child, and I was. And I thought I was not into all this. I used to draw in records, all cockroaches and all that that is necessary for us. Uh -huh. But uh, since I came here, I joined. You know, actually, I started Bahubali today, and it's still a skeleton for me. I had my patient crashing. I had to go there. I came back and I saw my Bahubali was completed, but then I was fine. Uh, even if it is just two more strokes, it's just one or two strokes. I'm so happy. Uh, everything uh, that you say and you do and and the positivity that you spread, I think it's, uh, I've, I've done many therapy courses, I've done many things, but this is very, I can relate, you know, because yeah. I'm kind of a crazy person, just like how you people are, and I can relate to you people, I don't know how, um, and really, I could re really relate to you people. And I think that everyone in our life, you know, uh, as we grow, even if you are small or, and nowadays in this generation, even small kids are stressed. We never used to be stressed, but even kids are stressed, you know, like totally stressed. They have everything in their hands and they're stressed equally. So I think everyone should have this kind of, you know, so you're getting a doctor prescription. All of you are getting a prescription. prescription, prescription from from not today, keep stress away. <laughs> no, no, you, medicine medicines will never 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 work if you don't have a good heart if you don't have a good soul if you don't have a beautiful life medicines will never work Truly. and i'm I tell that to all my can patients. find time all of you can many of them are like i'm so busy i don't you see her that day on yoga class i, I that yoga day i told her ki all up to do yoga she asked me i'm in my hospital i don't have a yoga mat but i can arrange some sheets can i do yoga there that is the spirit of this 
wonderful doctor and i'm so happy that she had joined for only urban sketching but she's using all the bonuses well and joining all our classes i love it so um yeah. yes keeps so you can upgrade I, i'll answer your question you can upgrade to platinum uh if you want to upgrade right away you can in addition to this you can just pay the remaining amount and you can upgrade right away let's connect and i'll send you the link you can upgrade directly um so Yes. Uh, what the duration of this class? We'll be start. This will be you are getting access to all our programs for one month. So the duration of this class, particularly, I have already showed the schedule. It's on sixteen. Uh, it's on nine, sixteen, twenty third, and thirtieth. And then uh, what is it? These are the live sessions from eleven to four. But apart from this. you can be a part of the reset challenge which is starting from the 1st of july you can be part of the chakra challenge so an entire month you get you are getting access to our programs which includes art meditation journaling and personal personal growth uh, okay. all of you are sharing on instagram and tagging us thank you we will give you a feedback on all those who are sharing us on this thank hello praveen look at praveen and so what is the duration of this class This class, this as class. in today's class. Today's class. No, no, no. I'm saying uh, the four thousand Sundays eleven to eleven to four. That's Sundays for 11. the next month. Sundays eleven to four. Okay. okay. I I just have one doubt over here. Please Hi. ask. Uh, actually, I have done the registration. Uh, just one thing, but what exactly will be will be covering only the figurines? Is it like uh, or uh, yes. what would be the courses kind of? we'll be covering all about human figure we'll be learning about uh, like the let me show you that once again some things it's a big come sorry i made you reset no problem and abiola so this portion is for everyone who wants to learn further from me so is it your team to answer okay. one second i am just looking at the registration Yeah, I'm just going through all the recording sheets and sell me. Maybe that. So, so let me show you that once again. so we'll be covering these are the things that we'll be covering in so week one will be about all the different postures actions and everything mm -hmm. and then this will be for the dynamic poses and quick sketching and and you know this will this is what week two will be about this is what week three will be about perspective oh fantastic <laughs> Today we learned how to draw human figures. So all this is what will be covered. Oh, baby! It's not bad, eh? How we managed to do it. Hi, Niranjan. Hey, hello. 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 hello yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, this is yeah. This is Sharath here. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Yeah. I I had a question. Uh, am mm. I audible? Right? Let's come out best. Others. You're audible. You're know, one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You can ask. Uh, my question was like, uh, yeah, 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 I registered uh, for this uh, class today. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, my wife is also interested uh, in taking up the uh, master class for one month, uh, which is suggested right now. So uh, do we both have to register individually for join the in master class, class, or like, uh, can I register? Uh, yeah. One person join in. Both of you can join in as a couple. Even if you are from different Zoom screens. You can just share the link with her, and you can register on one person's behalf. You can share the link or resources that I give. Even if you are joining in from different okay, screen, thank you. If on the same screen, come together. I'm only happy to see you both. It'll be a great bonding experience. Absolutely, for you absolutely. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was great having you both uh, uh, sharing uh, this knowledge. With us, and it was indeed great. After after so many years, I've seen someone sharing uh, the knowledge of drawing like this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very happy to hear that.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, Niranjan. Yes, please. Uh, this is Disha here from Cochin. Yes. Uh, I tried to register, but it was saying that uh, oh, the urban, urban registration is still valid like that. So the thing is, Disha, you're already learning the urban sketching page, right? Yeah, right. So, you're just, so I think after this one, I will yeah. reach out to you after this. Yeah. And okay. for you, what if you see, if you're, because you're already part of this course, you don't have to register in right now. After okay. this month, you can register. Yeah. Okay. And I think Thank you. It's best that you can actually upgrade to platinum because then you would want to join in for more classes. Imagine every month you're paying 4,000, 5,000 like that and coming in. Uh, okay. The same, you make one time payment and you can get access to all our courses. Isn't that better? So platinum means I'll have to pay 18,000, right? The remaining, no. You can upgrade. You already taken this. You can upgrade by paying the remaining amount. So 14,000 you meant? Yeah, and you can upgrade. Okay, okay, okay. So I have to pay, at, uh, I have to make a one-time payment, right? You can even pay in parts. You can you can apply for the EMI and pay that in parts. Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, okay I think that would be much you. more better for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Niranjan. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Who else has your doubts, your questions? Ask. See, one of the co most common questions that you'll have is it's one thing that I can't this for me. If you truly, why did you come in for this class? In the so, oh, you mean platinum? Yes. So, um, why did you come in this class to begin with? You came in this class because you wanted something. There is a thirst in us that we have to grow, we want to learn, we want to keep growing. And if, if you believe in learning, if you believe in growing in yourself, then why hold yourself back? You know that the value you're going to get is so much more than the price you're paying. Yes, any doubts, any questions? We... I have a doubt, Niranjan. Uh, like this 4,000 which you charge now, that is not platinum, right? Or is it so, platinum? I think this is, I am, you're currently registering it for only for the figure drawing master class. Okay. I am giving you a taste of the platinum as a bonus. You understand? Okay. So, this is, that is a bonus you're getting. But this is, originally you're registering and for the fees, you're getting that also. Now, it's not 4,000 monthly, it's typically, it's typically 20, 18 to 25,000, but I also take EMI, accept EMI payments. Now, if you are fully convinced and you want to come for the longer journey with me, you can be a platinum member. Lifelong access to our courses are So later on, we can add on or? Uh, what? Later on, After we can add one on? this one month, you can upgrade. If you want, you can register it right now, or you can upgrade after this one month by paying the remaining amount. I hope oh. that works. Thank you. Thank you, William. Any other questions I can answer? Just a question. How would this course be better than the recorded courses? Like, like on domestic C. There are two aspects to go with this. One thing is that when you're learning in uh, live with an instructor, it's a completely different environment than this. Why did you join it for this live workshop? Why not watch YouTube video instead? You know it. The difference in the energies is still very different. So that is one aspect. Secondly, if you connect with me, if you resonate with me, there are hundreds of instructors out there, but do you resonate with me? A lot of this is about whom you connect with, whom you can follow along, whom you can feel that person closeness with. So if, if you know, if the thought of learning more with me gets you excited, then this is for you. I can't say that. I, I don't want to compare myself to anyone or anything and say, you know, I am better in this room. Okay. There are platinum members here and you guys need not register anything. You can, you can this. 
you already signed up, you get this. Any other questions, guys? Uh, sir, if I uh, want to join for the uh, 